has been a while since the last stream. I will now start the game. set that to there. Anyway, so for this stream, thought I would just play a game of Nowhere Prophet, since there's one build that, well, what's it called, that I want to try, that I have had some success with in my own, uh, play, my own, uh, play t playing of the game off stream, so I think I'll try it again, especially now that there has been a minor update just to the rebalancing of this convoy. And that build would be the Faith Healers. So this is just going to be for fun. I think I'll upload it as a bonus video or something to my uh, playthroughs of uh, Nowhere Prophet since... I don't think this one does that great on Doomed, but I think I have one with it. Anyway, so I'm going to be using the Faithful and the Tower. Now the Faithful are a very defensive convoy. They're very good for control builds. Whereas the Tower, he's kind of got a bunch of interesting cards, but he's mainly good for healing and stuff. And so, anyway, I think I'll talk a little bit about the cards. So we have the Pilgrims, which are really good healing cards. You just drop them on the board. He you can heal multiple things at once, just depending on the board positioning. Very handy if you're going to be playing healing cards like the Steward, for example, who gets a payoff whenever you get a heal off. We have Initiate, who is okay. Medioper 2-drop. He's the only 2-drop we start with. So, you'll probably be using this guy early on, at least. You might replace him later. Since very often what you want to do is you want to drop down a 3-drop, and then play a couple of 2-drops later or something. Like, turn 1, play a 3-drop. Turn 2, play some leader cards, and then play a 2-drop. That's a very common thing. So anyway, next we have Battlefield Healer, who is another healing card. Heals everybody by three. That could be very handy, especially if you got a bunch of stuff and you've also got a steward on the board. Devoted Guard kind of stinks. I, I often don't use this card except as fodder, you know, as the sort of cards where it's, the whole point is for this guy to take a wound so that your other stuff doesn't get wounded. But aside from that, this guy's not really a good card. You generally replace them with better stuff. These cards are okay. They're kind of like the Raider, but with more health instead of more attack. So they're fine. They can usually uh, get a few trades in or get a few hits in. Decent card. Shiram Acolytes. These guys are also okay. The fact that they're shielded can be very helpful, especially if you can get their attack up or their stats up since that means that they can't be targeted by your opponent's stuff. So the shielded ability is nice. We have the stewards, and one thing that was changed in a minor update earlier this year is um, I think this deck got an additional steward, which is good, because if you're going to be playing a bunch of healing cards, then you want, you want to have a higher chance that you get a steward on the board. So this guy is quite good, especially if you can set it up so that he gets a lot of buffs. We have the Shiram Crusader. 
This was a card that was added in during that update. And it's a nice piece of aggression. It's basically like a crash jacker, you know, four for a five four, but better since being able to black out something can be very useful. You can like black out a taunt or you can black out something that just has a really nasty effect. So this is a nice card. Warrior Monk is okay. You mainly just use this guy to protect your board, protect your other units. But aside from that, it's not amazing. He costs a lot. Like, generally early on, this build struggles quite a bit since it's not a very aggressive build. But it's generally more control focused. And control builds generally struggle during regular encounters, especially early on. We have Blessed Marksman, which can be okay for uh, winning uh, winning a long game and stuff. Like, you can put this guy behind a rock and then maybe have him deal the finishing blow on the next turn if the opponent cannot destroy the rocks. Especially since a fair amount of removal requires the unit to be at the front, so the enemy leader might not be able to do much uh, if you put this guy behind a rock. We have the Protective Priest, who can be very helpful for uh, protecting your board, like giving everything shielded is certainly nice. And it can also be helpful for trading, since you can like give your stuff barrier and then just trade into your opponent's stuff. Although generally for regular encounters, I think the Marksman is a little bit better, but both of these guys are okay in regular encounters. Although generally you don't want them to be going that long. But anyway, and then the Style Ward is kind of mediocre, not amazing. The other two 5-drops are better, especially for regular encounters. But, you know, the stats aren't bad, it's just kind of slow. It th like, part of the problem with this Convoy deck is that a lot of the cards are not immediate. They, they don't immediately do something. They're very slow, very defensive and stuff. Whereas for regular encounters, you want to be aggressive. You want to win very quickly. So I'm next going to talk about the starting resources. So 10 batteries isn't terrible, but it would be nice to have more. 50 food is a little bit low. Oh, like, there have been times in the past where I've ran into problems with just running out of food very early on. So it's like 50 food, that's like 5 nodes. And if you don't get an any food from fights, or if there are no resource nodes, then this can be a little problematic, but it's not the end of the world if it does happen. 100 hope, on the other hand, is very nice. That is a lot of hope. And if I recall correctly, hope is generally more expensive than food, so, you know, it's kind of a bit of a trade-off. And let's see, starting with 10 believer points is quite nice, since believer points are very good for recruiting more followers so if you, if you can get this up even higher like your believer points up even higher then that can be helpful at milestones and other events uh, let's see healing an additional follower when resting is also quite nice since you're probably gonna be doing some very long regular encounters and stuff so that generally means taking more follower wounds so being able to heal them more is good and let's see, gaining a hope whenever you destroy a drone is nice, but it's kind of, this kind of means that if there are no drones, then this is kind of useless, but it, it also means if you can go to a map that has a lot of drones, like if you look at the world map and it says, oh, this, this path has a lot of drones, then it means, okay, go to that one because free hope. And then this last one is kind of interesting. Blessed units get one health instead of one extra attack as well as there are no problem with having an empty leader deck so this kind of encourages you to just take out like it kind of allows you to play a control strategy without having to worry about running out of leader cards so you can spend focus points on thinning your leader deck taking out cards that are bad and uh so taking no damage from an empty leader deck can be quite nice, for especially for control builds. It lets you focus more on quality than quantity of cards. And the last effect, which I better make sure I remember, is that the Faithful Convoy cannot use drones. 
If you get any drone followers, they immediately die. They, they just get demolished, and you can convert them into a battery, but you can't use them as cards. However, I think if you steal a card from the opponents, then you can use it during that fight, but if you would keep that card afterwards, it gets demolished. And I think drone tokens are okay. You can use leader cards that spawn drone tokens. I think those are acceptable, as long as the follower itself is not a drone. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about the leader deck. We have a healing card, which, if you remember our steward, he really likes healing cards. So we're going to try doing a healing build. In fact, probably going to try to do a refresh build as well with Resilience Chant, which is an amazing card that makes it so that whenever one of your followers gets healed, he gets refreshed, meaning he can attack again, he can act again, do whatever, you can do crazy burst damage with a Resilience Chant, if you can get your hands on that. We have Bolster, which is an okay card. This, is, this card is in every single leader deck. Usually fairly decent early on. Might replace it later, but it's not a bad card. We have Challenge, which can be useful for its pull effect. You can use it to, uh, uh, what do you call it? Hide a, hide a follower behind an obstacle, and then on the next turn, pull it to the front so that it can attack. And the taunt, on the other hand, you usually don't give stuff taunt unless you have some synergies with taunt, or if you really desperately want to protect your board, but the pull effect can be nice, so this card isn't completely horrible. It's, it's okay. Not great, just okay. Gaining armor can be okay if you're doing an armor build, but if you're not, then you probably want to take this card out. Oh, but it's not bad early on. Static charge can be quite helpful since it damages your own units only for one. And if you're going to do some healing, then you kind of want to hurt your own stuff somehow. So static charge can be very helpful for that. Stim shot is some more healing. And Secure is another armor card, so if you're doing an armor build, this can be helpful. I'm not sure if I am going to be doing an armor build, though. The cost is a little bit high, though, but it's okay later on in a fight when you have energy to spare. So you usually don't want Secure in your opening hand. Shots are a decent source of removal. And let's see, Mind Seize is a nice board wipe, especially if you have stuff with a lot of health, because then you can, like, cast Mind Seize and then just heal everything to get payoffs from healing. So it's a good board wipe for decks that um, like to heal. And lastly, we have Refresh, which can be used to quickly do some burst damage. I think that's everything that I have to say about that. And yeah, anyway, let's start a game. Let's just see how well I do. I have won with this build off stream in the past, although I usually, I think I usually have to be a bit lucky, but yeah, I'm just doing this stream for fun. I'm not expecting to necessarily win, but I will do my best. Anyway. So the Stewards are a big win condition. Crusader is a decent card to put in. And generally for five drops, I usually put in either the Priest or the Marksman. I think I'll go with the Marksman since it's a little bit more aggressive, whereas the Priest is more long term. Although it's not a bad card. Generally want both of those guys, these guys too. And then this. And then probably two more cards. I think I'll go with one Acolyte and one Healer. So generally speaking, when building a deck for regular encounters, you usually don't want to go past 12 cards. Going past 12 is usually too much. But I think, I think this is fine. I, like, the problem with going past 12 is the deck becomes very inconsistent and stuff. So we do want some consistency. In fact, I'm a little bit worried about this maybe being too big. 
So I might take out Acolyte and Healer, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll just try it and see how it goes. Generally, 12 is the maximum you should go when it comes to uh, that stuff. Anyway, so the first thing to worry about with this build is your food. So thankfully, there are some food nodes nearby. The question is, do I want to go, like, here, up, and then heal over there? Or do I want to go for, like, this and then that? And then maybe here and there, or maybe wrap down around there, like that. I think I kind of like this route a little better, so I'll try that. If possible, I should try to fight both elites. Well, let's see how the 12 card deck does here. Alright. And... I think I'll go for this. Part of the problem with the tower is that he does have good leader cards, but they're kind of inconsistent. They kind of do a whole bunch of different things. So that's why I like using the the tower with the hermit, for example, because um, when it comes to the hermit, uh, as I call it, he's quite good. Anyway, I think what I might plan to do is maybe turn to Mind Seize. So I'll try turn one Serum Acolyte, playing him near the front so that the opponent can't put a rock in front of him. Him or like push him behind an obstacle or something like if I put him here he could get pushed behind that what is this anyway piece of equipment okay here we go okay yeah so he's scratching that all right so what would I like to do here? I think I would like to mine seize. Maybe scrap this card. I forgot to scrap a card last turn. Although actually no, I'll, I'll hang on to this in case he somehow pushes it. So I might mine seize here. Or I might just wait a turn. Hmm. Ah, uh, decisions, decisions. How much health does he have? Is that amount? All right. Let's think for a sec. I will scrap this card. Okay, that is interesting. Okay. I'll do it like this. Ouch! <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, I have a combo. Cool. Okay. Put you here. This. I'll show the healing and then trade. There we go, and then we have refresh for next turn. And I think that will be lethal. Yes, okay, good. Sadly, I can't get this. Alright, now. Can I get this somehow? <laughs> Usually I should not be greedy. But his hand is almost out. And I do... I kind of like wounding this guy, even though I probably shouldn't. You know what? I could use the equipment, probably. Oh, I'm really split on whether I want to do that or not. I think I've already taken two wounds, and I think 
Yeah, I think I'm not gonna risk it. And there we are. So that did okay. We got some food for one thing, so that's good. Kinda really unsure about the equipment since generally you do want equipment early on, like a rocket launcher or something, just to, uh, what's it called? Uh, actually, let's maybe take out the photo card. Yeah, let's, just, let's just run 11 cards. Since uh, getting equipment early on can help you with, like generally with this build, the first map is actually the hardest, which is, which is interesting. Since you generally need to get more followers and all that, you need to get some aggression in this deck. Since this build's biggest weakness is just that the starting convoy deck is very weak. Anyway, let's, let's do another fight. All right, this, and then this on turn two, or maybe this, and this, I uh, like this. Okay, I, I like all of these cards. Ooh, batteries, I think that's batteries, yeah it is, okay. All right, Jerome Climber. Another Jerome Climber. That one we can kill. He's <laughs> just vomiting stuff onto the board, wow, okay. So I think we kill this guy. Maybe we stem shot him. Maybe we drop this guy onto the board. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. I might bolster first. Bolster, hit this guy. Ah, decisions, decisions. Another idea is to just cast shot. And basically encourage this guy to attack like that. Shot on this. Another idea is to go bolster, hit face, and then not care if he... Well, he could trade it. Nah, I don't like that. Okay. I don't like that. Hmm. Okay. Quite a bit of stuff here. Alright. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of stem shot. Okay, that might be good. That might help with what I'm trying to do. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, generally speaking, control the board. This guy down. As I thought, so okay. Lots of beasts. Okay. Alright, let's trade like this. Alright. Hide behind here, get ready to refresh on the next turn, even though that won't be enough for lethal. Hmm. Yeah, I should have calculated that a bit more. Anyway. I could just snipe and then play this guy. Hmm, it's probably not when you should play that card, but anyway. Okay, this is good. Interesting combos. In fact, I should probably try to get all the all this stuff, yeah. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I like that. Okay. 
The armor is helpful when doing stuff like this. Alright, looks like he's trading like that. Alright. Let's do like this. Make this guy massive. Get the batteries. And... Probably drop this guy down. Though he might have a board wipe or something, and there's no real rush to do that. Since we can kill him on the next turn in multiple ways, so yeah, okay. Gains taunt, but Battlefield Healer can deal with that. Okay. Yeah, let's get some stuff. Let's give the give the bless to that one. Or maybe is there a better choice? This guy, the bless. Yeah, maybe this guy, so he can be a five-five instead. Yeah. Okay. So I'll show that little trick. Okay, what do we get here? Plus two, minus one. That can be helpful for burst damage, like early on. Like this, this uh, tool isn't that great later on, but it might help now, especially since my stuff tends to have very high health and low attack. So being able to flip that around can be good. Uh, how am I doing for wounds? Ugh. I think I'll keep the Pilgrim in my hand. Sorry, in my deck, though. Shepherd can come out. Devoted Guard can come in. I think I'll continue with this deck. As it is, that Elite is probably going to scare me. Maybe I should have gone for this path. Yeah. Starting to regret that. Although... Early Halucense. That is the best luxury item in the game. Okay. Hopefully I can make use of it. Generally with this one, you want to feed it because if you do any of the other two, he's gonna take your food anyway. Like I think it's a bit random whether it does it or not, but that has been my experience. And let's see, Onway Engine. Yeah, okay, let's let's do that. That that looks great, okay. Yeah, we're gonna go for that Ennui engine then. And I think I will add some how many uses do I have? I think it's two. You mean taunt and stoic. Okay, so I have two uses. Alright, so who do I wanna put in here? Maybe these guys. Maybe this guy. Yeah, okay, this guy can go in. And maybe I can fit in one more. Part, part of the issue, of course, is that it's uh, not able to move, or what's it called, but I think this will be fine. I think this is fine. Uh, I should have checked here first, what we have here first. And I think this guy's a rare beast. Yep, he's rare. And I don't think I have any beasts. And also, he's a good card. There's that too, he's nice and aggressive. He's basically like a blessed raider, so I think I'll toss him in. And Devoted Guard can come out, because this guy is just... You know, so much better than Devoted Guard, so... I think I'll go with that. I think I'll keep some batteries in case I run into that one nasty event that makes it so that uh, you either have to pay batteries or potentially lose followers. So it's, it's the one where there are these uh, people who know this path and if you don't pay up batteries they will you, you basically have to go down the path without guidance and there's a chance that followers just die. 
So that's not fun when that happens. Anyway, let's go fight an elite. Alright, I think I will try waving them closer. I think even if I fail the check, I still gain altruism, so let's try that. I gain altruism anyway, and I get some followers. And let's see, a wounded trapper could be useful for bosses. This can be a very handy panic card, since you can play it on the board, it kills everything. And let's see. Hmm. I don't have that much food. So, what do I want to do? I think I, I want the fights. I forget what happens if you fight, but I think you just have a fight, so... I don't remember if there's any actual penalty for doing this. Okay. Well, let's see how we do against an elite. Now that we've got some equipment... Hard to do better than that, so... Better make sure I pay... Play this a little slowly. Maybe... I go first, that's important to remember. Throw down Acolytes, maybe gain armor. Gotta remember that Acolyte won't be able to attack due to the engine. Maybe turn to Crusader. I don't think I want Marksman this early, though, although... Marksman behind one of those could be good. So, okay. Like, one thing that is nice about uh, the engine with the Acolyte is that since the Acolyte has uh, shielded, it's much harder for this guy to, like, remove the Stoic from him and stuff like that. So I can just do this, protect my life points. Oh, Resilience Chance. I want that card. Although this play is a bit ridiculous. This... You, you generally don't need two chance. Alright, now. Pilgrim can stay on the board. Could throw down Mindseize, kill everything. Well, except for my thing, and then play Pilgrim, but that might not be correct. So maybe I just go for some aggression. Oh no! I don't get batteries if I destroy that! <laughs> I should have played it here, maybe. I don't know. Well, this is an elite, so I want to just plow through anyway. Probably gonna mine seize now. Yeah, yeah, destroy that thing! Yeah, good job! <laughs> okay, so here I probably mine seize. And then I probably drop down other Pilgrim or something. Like, Mind Seize just kill all this stuff. This guy takes three, but he'll be okay. <laughs> I didn't think this good thing would work on that, but I guess it does. <laughs> Alright. I think I want to double heal this guy. Can I do it? Like, maybe drop this here. Yeah, maybe drop this here, and then heal, and then like that. Since this guy's shielded too, so he's harder to target. I think I'll go for... Crazy amount of attack. And... Then throw this down. And then go like that. And hit the face. Threaten to kill on the next turn. Hmm, I wonder if I can bless anything. I don't think there's really anything I would want to bless, since this guy's already got a lot of health. And this guy's already blessed. It would be nice to bless this, but he can't attack, so... Yeah, okay. This guy got blessed somehow? I don't think I even really care, since this guy's not really for, for combat anyway. A shame that I can't get those batteries, but... Anyway, another priest, that's nice. And a warrior monk. Warrior monk's not amazing, but anyway. 
Priest is a rare, if I recall. Yeah, he is. Okay. Oh, man, I lost my altruism. But I did get some stuff. So, I guess it paid off. Yeah, okay. I don't think I wanted to give up my food, so... I think I've got a crazy amount of hope. And here, I should just destroy the distillery. That gives believer points. But it does cost a little bit of food. Since we generally want to max the Believer points if possible. And I could just proceed to the boss. That might make sense. Given that we're low on food at the moment. How many how many wounds do I have? Mm, not a whole lot. If I go to the healing. Yeah, maybe what I'll do is I'll go here. Then come back. This guy probably does drop a little bit of food. But there is some risk, since that will cost 20 food to do that. Also, I do have equipment, so okay, yeah, I'm gonna probably pass on that then. Seems a bit too risky to try that. Like, yeah, that seems a bit too risky. Normally I would be all about fighting these, but too much backtracking would be involved. Like it would cost 20 to go here and then come back. I put me at 6 food. Although, as long as it drops a little bit of food, I'll be okay. Like if it drops like 14 food, I can go here and then there and then be fine. And that would 6. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll take the risk. I'll go here, then back, and that'll be it. All right, let's not use up any food. Let's just advance and fight the horde. All right. This might actually be beneficial for me. <laughs> Do I want to level up now? Hmm. How much scrap do I have? Eh, I'll, I'll level up later. Because there could be that one thing that costs like eight batteries where you risk followers and stuff. That elite fight was so, so easy compared to what I was expecting. It was pretty interesting. I take out this acolyte. So the, maybe I want to wound him. Yeah, maybe wound the acolyte on purpose. And this is an elite. Do I want to use either of these? I think I'll save it for later. Enemy goes first, okay. Maybe use this turn one. Let's find out. try for a static charge, but that's a 1 in 9 probability. I don't really like that. Like, static charge would just win. He has no cards in his hand. So maybe play this guy onto the board. Actually, maybe just mine sees guard. That might work. And pass. Oh, nothing! He played nothing! That is amazing. Alright. I think then what I'll do here is steward and wounded guy. Actually, no. I can always drop steward down on the next turn. How many uses of this? Only one use left, okay. Is it once per turn? It's once per turn, okay. I'll drop this guy here. 
And then Ant's turn. Uh, let's see. Maybe this guy hits that. Or this guy hits that. Hmm. Buff? Hit? No. That doesn't seem right. Hmm, let's see. I shouldn't worry too much about the overwhelming damage, actually. That that seems okay. Now, if I position stuff behind... I could just have this guy take the overwhelming hit like that. Hmm. That is an idea. We play this. Hmm, lots of ideas, lots of ideas. Hmm. Maybe hit like this. Play this guy behind. Hmm. Uh, what do I want to do? I can always static charge to help with damage. Drop this down here. Drop this guy. Then I won't have room for that. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I think I'll go for this. Then drop this guy here. Yeah, this looks like a good play. This looks good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> do here? What do I want to do here? Just hit like that, then shot. Drop this guy down, heal both of these guys. This guy gets ridiculous. This guy will have taunt. Hmm. I don't hate that. I like that idea. You get a massive guy like that. <laughs> now, I will want to set up an attack for the next turn. Hmm. So maybe I'll play this guy here and throw this guy there. This guy attacks that, move that there, move this guy there. Actually, just, just move this guy there. What am I saying? It's your move, Yugi. Oh, I can just heal him and buff him again. Wonderful. Okay, so this attacks here. Here, this guy moves out of the way. Bolster on you, hit face. Yeah, that looks good. Wonderful, wonderful. And that is that is the right amount of food. Looks like I managed to win in terms of that risk. Uh -oh. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, I'm very tempted. I, I don't remember what happens here. I don't remember what happens if you succeed or fail. I forget if blessings increase the chance of success. I'm gonna try it. No! 
Ah, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that feels bad. After all the trouble, I went to bless that beast. <laughs> That feels very bad. How am I doing for batteries? I'll wait till the boss fight. No! That's so sad. So sad. Oh well. Oh well. Not much you can do. Like, I, I don't even remember what that one does, so it's not even a case of, uh... Like, I'm not even sure if I saw that event before, but... It just goes to show how important it is to know about events and know what the different outcomes are and and all that. Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, is my deck good as is? I think I would like to bless some more units. <laughs> Feels so bad to lose lose that one that I blessed. Since he was awesome, he was three energy for a five four. <laughs> I should have just looked at it and be like, I don't want to risk it, but. I kind of felt that it is more entertaining to to see what happens there, but uh, let's see. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's let's just fight. Let's see. Yeah, I want a strong start here. Like a three drop, or maybe this guy. Backscale around, that might be good. Especially if he's doing that. Hmm. Alright, alright. We have an interesting combo. A slow down. Think about the combo. Steward onto the board. Static charge. Bolster. Drop Pilgrim over here. Make sure Pilgrim comes... Actually, no. I could intentionally kill my Pilgrim. Yeah, kill my Pilgrim on purpose. That's probably correct. The question is, does he have Blackout cards? Since part, part, of, the, part of the idea of killing the Pilgrim on pur purpose is since he has Stoic... He will not, uh, he will not die for good. Whereas if this guy has any blackout cards, that's a problem. But I don't think he does. I don't think beasts generally play blackout. So I, I think I will just leave Pilgrim to defend my board. Since that's another thing that's important to know, which is, um, oh, uh, what's it called? It's important to know what uh, kind of cards are in the opponent's deck. So, I think it's safe to leave Pilgrim on the board and stuff. Although, wait, I miscalculated, didn't I? Ah. Ah, uh, yeah, I did. Ah, uh, I played too fast. I'll go. Oh, uh, I played that move way too fast. Ay, 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 ay. Come on, go face, go face. He did not go face. Although I want that guy wounded anyway, so that's not too bad. Oh, uh, let's see. Probably static charge. And then probably something like this. And then throw this down. And then maybe challenge or maybe armor. I'll go with armor. Probably should have played armor first if I was going to static charge. Ugh, all the misplays. Yuck. <laughs> okay, do I have lethal? This on that. Hit, hit. Hit, refresh. Hit again. This. Boom. And nothing here I want to do, so let's do that. Hit, refresh, hit again, this, yeah, I've really got to watch for misplays, I've been, I think I've been playing a bit too fast this stream so far, 
Like that, that's generally one thing that's a bit inaccurate about my streams is how fast I play. Like off stream, I usually play slower. <laughs> they have destroyed the mind, just like Cardi B and her terrible music. Okay, there. Where are we? Wait, Cardi B makes music? Uh, let's level up. Let's try to get a good card. Okay. This card's not bad. Although, I don't really care about this effect. Lose an armor and do two damage. I think that's a little silly. Okay, Stone Chakra I like. I like Stone Chakra. It's good in taunt builds and stuff. And also just a nice health boost. Now, what would I like to get rid of? Maybe this one? Maybe this one? Mm. Well, they're okay. I'm not fully sure. I think I would not get rid of anything at the moment. Don't have enough batteries to level up. See, if I was playing slower and reading my cards, I would have enough batteries. Now, this guy is the armor boss. Actually, no, he's not. He's the taunt boss. Okay, and he has shield. So he's kind of like the boss version of me. Since he's got shielded cards and taunts. So, first question, do we have any legendaries or mythics? We do not. Next question, do we have any blessed units? We do. Next question is, what wounded do we have? And let's see. I think I will use Trapper in this fight. But not really for his taunt and stuff. And I like both Shiram Acolytes. I think I've got a spare Protective Priest. Although you don't really play the priest for his stats, you're playing for his effect. So I think I'll use both stewards, as well as the healing, since we don't really have any other tricks that we can do. Where's the sniper guy? He'll be good here. And maybe I could just kill this guy in this fight, although he is a rare feral, so maybe I shouldn't. Two for a three three is not bad in terms of stats. And uh, let's see. Yeah, this might be it, although maybe I'll go for the other protective priest, since he does give my stuff shielded. I'm a little bit nervous about whether I will be able to win this. Uh, let's see. Uh, that was my mana curve luck. Not a whole lot of three drops. I think I do want a strong early start. If possible. Don't think I'll risk these guys. I think I'll just try to build a big steward. Alright. A little bit nervous. Let's see how we do. Right, this card can help with getting rid of barriers. Do I want bolster? I don't think I do right away. All right, turn one play. I like that. And I turn two play as well. All right. It's got shielded as well. Okay. It's just gaining armor. That's fine. Ooh, should I play this now? I think I should. You got a free kill. Boom. Okay, I think I'll throw this down to take the hit from that. Maybe trade this for that. Do I have any healing? No healing in my hand at the moment. Hmm. Let's 
see. Let's scrap this card. Don't think I want to use this this turn. He's got so much armor, so much health. I think it's going to be all about controlling the board for the time being. Yeah, let's scrap this card. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Let me throw down Acolyte. Take the hit. Soak up some damage. Acolyte, shot, and then this guy eats that, and then this guy hits face. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that seems fine. And generally, since uh, the Ennui engine, like one thing I forgot to mention is that since it cannot move, I think it's actually better to put the units at the back. Since that way they don't block your units permanently, since you can't attack your own stuff. Alright, now I can go for shot here. Or maybe I'll do this actually. Yeah, that, I think that's a better play. I can get this guy down. And hopefully build him up for a lot of damage. Alright. Okay, shielded and barrier. Might be good. I have... This amount. And use this to boost his attack. Okay. Problem is that. Uh, what was the problem, actually? Hmm. Problem is, I want healing, but I don't want to scrap either of these. I think next turn I really scrap for some healing. I'll do this. And then... Buff you. Head like that. Head like that. And... End turn. Ah, Furry. Uh, he had a way to target it. <laughs> ah! If <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Nothing that can be done about that. I think I just throw this down. I think I'll save my shot. So this guy will not get the Ennui engine, that's okay. I think I save shot for one of these guys attacking that. Arrow hit like this. Maybe I scrap you. Perfect! Perfect! Okay, this is good. This is really good, okay. I think the sniper is more dangerous, so I'll go for that. Uh, let's go for steward here. Or maybe steward here. Uh, it probably doesn't matter. Yeah, now that that is a strong play. And where the heck did my mouse go? I don't know. There it is. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, where the heck is my mouse? Alright. I don't think I should play either of these. I think I should... Yeah, I think I should just bluff or something. Maybe I play this now, but he might have defense or something. I don't know. Madman's Curse. Alright, he's playing his whole hand. Let's 
very inconsequential. Do I just do something like mind seize? Maybe shot, mind seize, hit like that. Everybody go like go crazy. Actually, this probably will make sense. So, yeah, that way, that way the mind sees isn't uh, so bad. Although that means that needs ten. But hmm, let's see, let's see. Although I don't have to play shot, do I? Play this guy, then play Mind Seize. Kill those, and have this guy take a bite of that. Yeah, that way, okay, yeah, that looks good, that looks good. Um, let's see, am I thinking this right? Yeah, I think I am. Okay. And here we go. And let's see, maybe you take a bite out of that. Or maybe you do it. Yeah, let's have you do it. Because maybe he has another copy of that 4 damage to a row card somehow. I don't think he does. So it should be okay, but anyway. Hmm, let's see. Ooh, that is a nice card here. Move you out of the way. Drop this guy down. Maybe bless this guy. Can I win this turn? Let's see. I think I can. Yeah, 17 health. I have 10. Okay, yeah, I can win this turn. Cool. So move this guy here or something. And let's see, yeah, 10, 14. With this guy, it's a win. I think I'll give the bless to Steward, since I play Steward a lot more than I play this guy. Don't even need the shot to the face. Anyway, let's just win. Okay, only two wounds. Some damage to the face, but that's okay. Advanced Guard isn't bad, although I've got to be mindful of Ennui Engine proccing when I play him, but generally since he's higher end, that will happen. Hmm, what's my problem? Uh, hello, uh, Mamut uh, Kutukur07. Uh, is there a problem? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe there is uh, something lost in translation. I, I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, let's see. Sniper. Archivist. Yeah. Got some food. Got some of that. Let's just move on to there. Which one is this? This is Pit 9. That is the mine, I think. So I will want to get a Union follower for here. And also, I want a bandit or a Raj guard, if possible. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's just take out everything from here. Sell all my scrap. Now I have 34 of that. I forget what's in this one. I think I'll just look it up on the uh, Gamepedia really quick. 
since on Doomed you do have to be you do have to take advantage of every little thing at the milestone you can get. So yeah, I think I was right, yep. You need a union follower to approach the crane. Although if you go to the gallows, I think yeah, the Merc will help you uh, get uh, Union followers, although he does cost quite a bit. Now let's see at the slopes. I don't think I care about Hangout. I could go for Recruit followers or I could go for Sell Food. Those are both interesting. Uh, what else is there? I should see what followers are here. Okay, this guy's a bandit. That will be useful for something I want to do. Now, are there any union followers as well? Is this guy rare? This guy's rare. Okay, he's a union follower. You can tell by the symbol in the card text. So this guy's got two hammers, and this guy's got a mask. Oh, it must be COVID-19 over here. Anyway, and what's this guy got? He's got something else. So I think what I should do is I should get both of these. So that will allow me to do the... That will allow me to do the crane. But I should also think about what followers I want to heal, if any. Although that will cost food. Let's just look at my wounded. Okay, steward, I definitely want to heal, for sure. Now, anybody else? These guys I like having wounded. Maybe the Shepherds, so that I can have a strong turn one play. Uh, what else? What else do I want? I think I can heal four followers in one shot, thanks to this convoy's ability. I think the Initiate is probably another one I want to heal. I think I like having the Pilgrim cost zero. I think these guys I want to keep wounded and heal like that. Is it four? Yeah, I think it's four. So heal like that. It's looking good. Uh, what else? I think advance guard, I actually quite like being wounded because that means you can get him out earlier. He's also got a ridiculous amount of health. Like the taunt is a little silly, but if you can put him behind a rock, then he's quite good. I think the Trapper is kind of a similar thing, where you can, if you can play it early, earlier on, usually use the Trapper against bosses. Don't really use them for anything else. Protective Priest, since I've got a second one, I think I don't mind risking him with wounds. Blessed Marksman. Do I have a second one? I thought I didn't lose the one from that. Yeah, I do have a second one, okay. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of the same cards. <laughs> That's very interesting. And a warrior monk I generally don't use at all. And these guys I like being wounded, so... Okay. I think I'll just save these charges for now. Although maybe I'll use two just to heal my face. I'll cost eight food. I'm running a little low over here, but that might change. When I do this, I should see what I have to sell. I just have the Halo Sense, which uh, I would only get 10 batteries, so I don't think that's worth it. Uh, let's see. Although there could be argument for it, since I've got so much hope that selling any luxury items I get might make sense. So one approach is to get 40 batteries and go to the Gallows and recruit Rico, who will give me a Union follower, but he probably doesn't give me a Bandit or a Raj Guard. Another idea is to go to the Works. Yeah, get a Bandit and then go to the Works. That probably makes the most sense, actually. So this guy's a Bandit. Grab him, and we probably want to get this guy too. And let's see, the Head Dreamer does look nice as well. But we kind of want a Union Follower, although I should double check if I have a Union Follower already. 
I should look at, I should sort the followers by faction and look at rare or better, since that's what I need for that. And I do not currently have any union followers, as I thought. I sh thought I should just double check, just in case. So this guy is a union follower. Let's grab him. And I think I should try to get my batteries to zero, since... I forget if, if you use the bandit to sneak you in, if there's a chance of losing any batteries. And let's see. Ooh, a machine pistol. That's a nice one. Any other followers here that I would want? This guy's just a common union follower. He's not amazing or anything. This guy is a rare beast. This guy is a rare follower of a type I already have. Okay, not much there that I really want, so I think I'll just risk it then. I think I'll go to the works, and I'll try to steal. I think that's what that's about. There is a chance that I do fight a beast. But anyway. So let's try this path. I think if you use the bandit, I think there is no penalty if you get caught. I think just nothing happens. So that's why I've got a bandit. Let's see if I succeeded. I succeeded, so all this worrying about spending batteries doesn't matter. And now the question is, do I want to spend those batteries now, or do I want to wait and see if I can get 40 so that I can get Rico and some more followers over here? There's also an idea of going here to the slopes and trying to recruit some followers. That might make sense as well. Although, let's see. Actually, yeah, I doubt that I want to sell any food since the other option at the slopes is to sell food. But given that my food is so low and that even if I get more food, I probably don't want to sell it. I think I will commit to just recruiting followers, and I will use my Believer Points, which I talked about earlier, in order to do that. Since I think if you use the Believer Points, it's guaranteed to work. So we get two new followers. One of these is rare, I think. Yep, you're rare. Actually, they're both rare. And I, I kind of like this one, too. He, he's okay. Not amazing, just okay. He's more known for just his passive ability, but maybe you can get him wounded, throw him down, give him taunt and stoic, and then play other stuff. I don't know if I'll actually use him during this run, though. I think that's everything that I wanted from there. I think the next step is to go to the crane. So next what we do is we approach the control center. And we let the union follower that we just got speak to the guards. And then we're gonna try to, uh, we're gonna try to get to the enemy to surrender here. Like this is an important trick. And uh, let's see. Oh, maybe I could have spent batteries to level up. Maybe that's something I could have done. Anyway, uh, no longer sort by faction. Now, do these guys have any... Nope, they do not. So we're just going to try to overpower them and just get them to surrender. So I think Con Man is a very decent uh, three drop, so I'll use him. Even though you do have to be careful about his effect. Although most of my leader cards do not cost three or more, so I should be fine. And I think I'm going second here. That's an important thing to remember. Yeah, enemy goes first. Don't click by accident. <laughs> stewards, I'll put in... Try to get a mind seize in my opening hand so I can just kill everything if possible. I think I'll play the Acolytes as well. I think I like Battlefield Healer. And Crusader's good. And do I want anything there? I think I like my Sniper. And maybe one initiate. And sadly, fifth century. I probably shouldn't use right now. Since, uh, what's it called? Although, if I can bless him, that would be cool. But I'm not going to be blessing anything this fight. So I'm going to pass on the fifth century. 
normally fifth century is amazing if you can get him blessed and then if you can get a uh a piece of gear that lets you start with armor then this guy in your opening hand is just awesome you just play him on the board and he he gains stoic immediately since your gear lets you start with some armor and uh let's see is there anything else here that i want uh in my deck Maybe Warrior Monk, since we will be playing defensively here. I think I'll just go for two Shepherds, though. And that will probably do. That will probably do. Maybe Stout Ward, since we're going defensive this fight. Oh, and maybe the two Pilgrims. Okay, yeah, this is probably overdoing it. Probably don't need Stout Ward. Then. And let's see, anything I want to take out? Maybe Initiate. All right, this is this is probably good. I'll probably do okay with this build. Anything I want to use here? Nope. And let's duel. Ooh, batteries! I should try to get those. Oh, more batteries. <laughs> Maybe stone chakra, and then acolyte. I don't think I want refresh since I'm not going to be going for burst. I think uh, but this guy. Alright, he's going through that. Alright, so maybe... Acolyte, Bolster... Maybe Stone Chakra... Acolyte... Both interesting ideas. I think Acolyte, Bolster, and Guard. That's probably what I'll do. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Can I play Stone Chakra? Where should I play it? Probably here. Stone Chakra, Acolyte. Problem is, Acolyte can't attack. I think I'll go for Acolyte Bolster Guard. Since his health is already really good. Alright, he's gonna go for that. Alright, now. Stone Chakra here is probably not bad. I don't think I want this. Huh, Mind Seize. I think I'll save that. He's probably gonna attack this, which will be annoying, but maybe not. Maybe not. I'll play Stone Chakra. And not Con Man, since Mind Seize will bounce him back to my hand. So maybe... Steward or Little Steward? Let's go for Big Steward. Try to get a healing card. Use Mind Seize to clear the board. We might just attack. Yeah, okay. Now there is the problem that Mind Seize will kill my own thing. But maybe I'll scrap a card and see what I get. No healing, okay. Uh, let's see. I think Mind Seize and then play something else. Since Mind Seize does kill three of his guys. Maybe throw this guy down and Mind Seize. Hmm. Uh, very interesting. Da, 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 da. Is there anything I want to give Taunt? Yeah, I think I'll do this and then play Mind Seize. That way this guy will get Taunt. And he'll only have lost one health.
Ooh, annoying. Although, not the end of the world, I can do this. Let's see, I definitely want to scrap and get some healing somehow. I could play the sniper. Play challenge on something. This guy has taunt, meaning I don't really want to destroy this. Can you attack this? Looks like you can. Can you attack this? No. Okay. Alright, what card would I scrap? I've only got four cards left, so there's a high chance that I get it, whatever it is. Hmm. Let's think. Maybe I shouldn't do that, though. Maybe this, then challenge, then trade. How much does that leave me? I could plan play Marksman. Okay, I don't hate that. hide you over here I want or maybe this is better oh, that was probably a mistake to put this here no <laughs> you jerk <laughs> what a jerk <laughs> Okay. Let's see. All right. Probably play Con Man now. Really need to bring his health down somehow. Probably play Marksman over here. Attack like that. Oh, I don't know, using the cover does kind of make sense, and I do kind of want this to die anyway. And if he goes face, that's not a problem. But I don't want to risk that happening. Hmm. So I think I'll just move these guys out of the way. Then maybe play this guy here. Maybe go like this. Okay, that's not too bad. I don't understand, but anyway. Maybe... Hmm. Do I have any moves here? Think, think, think. This guy can eat that, no problem. Now for some funny business. If I play this, there's a risk that he dies. So maybe I don't. <laughs> this and that. Hmm. Yeah, I'll grab that. I'll throw this guy down. And I'll cast Refresh. Okay, he's back in my hand. 
Do that and hope for a surrender. Perfect. All right, ask them why they fight and then join their side. Getting some re getting some rewards, only taking two wounds and no damage to health. I'd say that was pretty good. This next fight is a bit easier and the altruism reward is quite nice. In fact, that might actually help with uh, the gallows. I think that'll give a discount with uh, recruiting uh, Rico over there. So next we have this fight. I could level up, but I think, I don't think I need to level up for, for this. So I will hold off on that for now. I probably didn't need to take everything out of my deck, but anyway, steward goes in. Uh, what if I... Any filters? No, I don't. Okay. Is it sorted? Yeah, by cost. Okay. Alright, so then the cards I'm looking for... Oh, that's weird. Where are they? Where did my acolytes go? Oh, I'm so silly. They're over here. <laughs> anyway. Uh, con man. I think I'll try to bless him and then take him out. Crusader I like, uh, Shepherd can go in, Healer can go in, uh, maybe Fist Sentry, actually Fist Sentry is not, I do have armor cards, I think I will use them, and then I think probably my Sniper, and then maybe these two, even though there is some risk in using this, but I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. Anything here I want to use? Nope. We we do get to start with a unit on the board, so that's good. Enemy still goes first, but we do have a strong opening board. And I think the passive ability does two damage to me whenever I scrap, which I don't want to see. Mind Seize is probably good, followed by Restore on you. That will probably be good. If I can get this guy down, that would be great. Or maybe this guy. Eh, I don't know. I, I kind of like this hand. Alright, what's he trying to do here? Interesting. So I don't need to mind seize just yet. I think I'll go for this. And maybe try this and hit face. Ooh, luxury item. I should try to get that. Alright. Let's see. Let's try Mind Seize, then Restore. I see the damage. All of this stuff. Can I win this turn? Is the question. Well, let's go for this. Maybe throw this guy down. Actually, no. I can throw this guy down later. All right. Then put this guy here. And this guy boosts his attack. Now we bring him in lethal range where this will kill him. In fact, no, no, I don't think I misplayed. For one thing, I want to try to get this, too. Alright, looks like I win. Hmm. Do I want to get greedy, is the question. I think the answer is yes, I do. Since I do have guaranteed lethal in hand. So yeah, I think I will get greedy. Here. 
everybody's at full health, more or less. Let's get greedy. Try to bless this guy. And then take him out of the deck. But, like, that doesn't matter, since he has stoic. Alright, move here. Go face. Ah, that was good. Good amount of rewards. We got that stuff. And we have sweets, we have batteries, and we have bread. Alright. And this is the reason why I cared about having a bandit or a Raj card. It's so that, uh, so that you can get this reward too. And notice that my altruism is shooting up like crazy, and I'm getting a very good amount of food. So the food is no longer a problem. And this is a very nice amount of luxury items. In fact, I might sell some. Go here. Don't have a whole lot to sell. But at the same time, I don't think there's a whole lot that I want to necessarily buy. Although I do want to get this guy. Since he's a very good card. So I'll probably sell some of this stuff. Since my hope is in good supply. And I think I can get the discount here. Since I think I have enough altruism for the discount. So I think it's higher help. I think that's the choice to make. Yeah, higher help. Talk to the locals is only for scholar points, but we don't really care about those at the moment. So yeah, we can get the discount and then we can either get altruism points or we can get a nice legendary. I'm gonna go for the nice legendary, even though it does cost a fair bit. And I think these fugitives are always yeah, they're always uh, Union followers, but none of them was rare this time. Usually, I think I think I usually do see a rare one. But the Warden is a very nice one. Like, just crazy amount of stats. And if you can heal it, then it's a nice, uh, consistent, you know, defense for your board, since this uh, one is all about playing defensively. And then Scrap Artist is okay, but... I think I like the overstatted guys. And then these guys are good if you've got some kind of armor build, but I don't... Generally, you need very specific cards for that to work, and I, I, I usually don't get them, so... And then we have Rico, who is a nice card. He's a uh, blue devil, and he has a very nice ability. You can just give your units a crazy amount of health. So then I think next what I'll do... I should take a look if I want anything here, but I don't think I necessarily do. I think I'm happy with my own gear. Like this thing, it only has one use, so I'm gonna be like, nah, let's stick with the Ennui engine. And then it's either a sweets or edible oils that I will sell. They both give 10. I think I will sell an edible oils, or maybe this one actually. No, they all give 10, okay, so then sell this one then like they're they're both they're both good ones for elites and bosses and then for recruiting followers i think i want this guy and that will leave me with eight batteries which is kind of perfect for uh, uh dealing with that uh, one obstacle well that where you can lose followers if you don't have enough batteries i think it costs seven or eight something like that I don't think it costs 9 or 10. And now I think I want to just check if there's any any followers I want to heal. Since I think for my own health, yeah, I've only lost one, so I don't want to heal my leader. Uh, let's see. Steward, I definitely want to heal. Union Sapper is actually fairly decent. And you generally want to attack with him, so I think maybe heal him too. Maybe Shepherd as well. Maybe Initiate. Have more two drops. I'm trying to think. These guys, I like being wounded since since they have shielded. It's a lot harder to target them, a lot harder to black them out. And thanks to Ennui Engine, they're a nice, you know, defensive wall. This guy I've got an extra, this guy I've got an extra as well. 
this guy like wounded, this guy like wounded, this guy don't really play, this guy I don't really play. This guy is kind of okay. Eh. And this guy I'm kind of fine with being wounded, it makes him nice and cheap. So maybe I'll heal the guys I don't really play. So I'll keep these guys wounded. And then... Who do I want to heal? This guy I prefer wounded. This guy probably as well. No, maybe not. This guy is more of a long-term card. Uh, let's see. Archivist, I think I'll heal. I think I'll heal Devoted Guard as well. Uh, anybody else? Maybe you. Oops. Yeah, maybe the priest. Since he us you usually need a very big board, like very well-developed board anyway, to get the value out of him. And... This guy's attack doesn't really justify playing him, it's just too low. Even though burst damage is usually good. I think I'll choose those four. And I think I am good. I think as long as I remember to put cards in my deck during before the next fight, I should be fine. So let's see what maps there are. There aren't any drones anywhere, which is a shame because we love facing drones. They're just a source of free hope. Generally, I do prefer having more milestones as well. In fact, that's one thing I forgot to mention to my guide, is, which is get as many milestones as you can, even though it results in a longer thing. So Abandoned Refinery. I think I'll just double check what that one is. If it's one that gives a mythic drone, then that kind of stinks since we can't use drones. But I think it's the one where you can take a bit of a risk to try to get a hand cannon. Uh, fight bandit marauder search the warehouse with 50 followers that can be good and Yeah, okay, we could do that now. What's this one? The Union Dam which isn't that amazing Union Dam's not bad, but it's not amazing. So I think I will go for the longer path. What's in this one? unexplored routes that generally means some potential very good reward so I will go for this. I'll go for the abandoned refinery. Let's go. Okay. So it looks like the only real treasure is the refinery here. But that's okay. There are a good amount of elites. As well as some nice resource nodes. Some nice foods. And I'm not sure what the best path to take yet is. So I think I will just travel here. And then decide there which path I want to take. Since, for one thing, when I get here, I'll have some more information, maybe some more batteries. Uh, let's go. Ah, uh, this is the one I was talking about. The one where if you don't pay up, you might lose followers. So, I'm just gonna pay up. Like, basically, these guys are offering to guide us through this treacherous trail, and if we don't pay up, there's a chance that you just lose followers. Unlikely means you have a 20% chance of success. Or, I think it's roughly 20%. Ooh, rusters! Yeah, let's... These guys are... These guys are drones. That's free hope. We want free hope. That, that's good stuff. Alright. Alright, what do I want to use here? Let's first look at our legendaries. I think we'll try to bless our legendaries, even though... Their stats are ridiculously good, like 3 for a 5-5. Five five. That is good stuff right there. But I think I will save, save this guy for a boss fight. And then next, we will play with that. We will play with our faithful healer guys. And what else do we want? Crusader is a good card. Am I going first or second? I think, I think I'm almost always going first, so... And then, oops, where, where did my mouse go? No, I did not want to put that in. I'm always losing track of my mouse. <laughs> uh, initiates, maybe. And where are the other guys? Acolytes. 
and then these two, and this might be good. Yeah, this this looks good. I think Hard and Veteran can be our five drop, since normally I'm playing one five drop. All right, I go first. I kind of like this. I kind of like this opening hand, all these cards, since I can stem shot my steward. Alright. Let's play steward here, and then maybe turn two, play acolyte here in the back or something. Or maybe acolyte here, actually. So. This guy's got first strike. Eh, that's not too much of a problem, though. So I think what I'll do is maybe this guy here. Can I use this on an enemy? No, I can't. I could just drop both of these guys like this. And if he manages to kill one, eh. I don't know, I don't really like that idea. I think I'll hit and maybe drop this guy at the front and then drop this guy here, yeah. Oh, right! He benefits from the robust. I forgot about that. <laughs> and let's see. I don't think I can heal anybody else. I think I'll just end my turn. Yep, he's gonna waste time moving. Gonna buff himself up. Maybe I'll play Shot. Or maybe I'll trade like this and cast Stem Shot. And drop down another one of these guys. Yeah, hit like that, cast Stem Shot. Seems good. Can I win this turn? No. Okay. So, yeah, hit like this. And then, well actually, Veteran plus Restore might be a better play. Question is, where to put Veteran? I think over here. Veteran and Restore. There we are. So he's gonna do first strike into that. That'll be okay. Ooh, that is... Oh my. Veteran is gonna have fun. Veteran is gonna have fun indeed. Okay. Now let's move you... Maybe here or something. I don't know. <laughs> Veteran is gonna have too much fun. Maybe I bolster him. That way he can... Let's see. This is... Yeah, okay, do I want to play anybody else? Drop this guy down, and play Initiates, and then Veteran smash through everybody. And yeah, okay. Since Veteran is gonna, like, we're gonna see just how crazy this card can get. Although I have lethal, I'm being ridiculous. I should just win. I shouldn't care too much about all this health. You know, I could just win this turn. Got 12 health, and bolster, and yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm being so silly. Like, the free hope is nice, but... Blessing the veteran is nicer. <laughs> and let's see. Oh no, if I ask for help, they're gonna heal my stuff. Which I don't want. But I don't want to lose altruism either. Ah, I should have thought about that ahead of time. Oh well. Oh, and they heal exactly two. <laughs> ah, I should have I should have really thought about that. Maybe been a bit more greedy, get more hope. But at least I get the altruism. So so there's that. Ah, that's what happens when you play fast. Oh no, now my guys are not wounded anymore. I gotta wound them somehow. I think I'll take Veteran out for now, save him for a boss fight or something. 
And I think I'll put in my sniper, who is this guy. Not the wounded sniper, since that will get hit by the enemy engine, and I don't want that. Do I have any wounded that I can use as a distraction? I suppose I could use this guy as a distraction, but eh. Might as well just play one of these guys instead, if I'm gonna do that. So I never actually thought of how the Ennui Engine and the Shielded guys have such good synergy with each other. It's actually very interesting. Alright, I, I don't know what to do next in terms of these paths, so I'll just go to the path that I have to take. Think about it after this fight. So for one thing, like one thing to think about is should I level up? And let's see. What wounded do I have? Not much, from what I remember. Yeah, not much. Eh, maybe I can play this guy. Eh, seems kind of bad. I think I will not do that. How many batteries? Just six. Not enough to level up. Let's go. Alright, I go first. Sadly, I don't get my little 1-2 combo. But maybe I can do something interesting. Ooh, you, yes! Okay, let's play a 5-5 on turn 1. Giving it stealth, wow. Can I win this turn? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, I, I totally can! That's, that's amazing. Okay, that is, that is amazing. <laughs> oh, that was good, that was good. <laughs> I kind of miss my wounded uh, defensive followers, though, but ah, that was good. <laughs> I think I got lucky there, but uh, that is the potential of this build, in a nutshell. That is the general idea. You try to get a resilience chance, you try to set up a big board, get resilience chance out, and then do a ridiculous amount of burst damage in one single turn. So now I've got to think, do I want to go here, try to recruit some followers, and go up there and through that, or do I want to go here, and then take this mystery path and stuff? I'm kind of inclined towards doing something like this, like maybe here, and then maybe here, or maybe here and here, and then there. How many, uh, how much scrap do I have? Oh, a fair amount of scrap. Okay, I definitely want to go to a market soon. For one thing, I think six batteries is not enough for that event where you have to hire the guides, for one thing. So yeah, okay, here, then here. Sell my scrap, make sure I have enough for that nasty event, if it ever pops up again. Then here, then here, get some more scrap, then here, and there, then go there, and this will have a market where I could sell some scrap, and here, and then, yeah, probably something like that. Okay, that, that looks like a good strategy. Here we go. We have some bread. All right. Let's see what followers there are to recruit. The mortar is interesting. But it's only two uses, so I don't think it's worth spending the batteries on it just yet. So the Hardliner, I think I already have this guy, but I think I quite like him. Especially after the fight I just had. <laughs> so I think I will grab the Hardliner and nothing else. Since, yeah, I've already got a bandit. I've got a legendary bandit. And, I, and this guy is a bandit. And this guy's a bandit too. I'm not really doing a bandit deck, so let's just grab this guy, and then heal him, and then use him in a fight, and stuff. Yeah, since I've got a second... Oh wait, 
I'm kind of mixing up cards, but these cards have identical stats. And this guy's kind of, like, they're kind of part of this scrap build. Speaking of which, that reminds me of a really crazy combo you can do with Resilience Chance. I don't think I'll get a chance to do it this stream, since, uh, you do need to be lucky. You do need to get certain gear and certain stuff, but, um, in a nutshell, uh, I should talk a little bit about it. So notice that these guys are all about scrapping cards. So this guy scraps cards, and this guy scraps cards. There's this... So I think earlier in the stream we saw Resilience Chance, which ha is a construct with infinite uses. You put it on the board, it's like a 0-3 or something, or a 0-2. You generally hide it behind a rock or something. And its effect is whenever one of your followers is healed, refresh it. So, what you would do is you would um, try to wound your followers on purpose somehow, like with uh, a static charge or something like that. And then you would try to heal them bit by bit, like one card at a time. So that they're, you heal them but they're still damaged, and then you heal them again. And so, they're, so you heal it, refresh, you attack with it. You heal it again, it refreshes, you attack with it again. And there's this one gear that has an ability, whenever you scrap a card, or I forget if it's once per turn, I don't think it's once per turn, heal one of your followers randomly for one. So you could just imagine, you damage one, a massive follower for a lot, then you scrap a card, and that heals for one. And there's another piece of gear, uh, uh, which normally isn't that impressive. I think it's the Simple Sleeve, I think that's its name, where it's whenever you play a leader card, refresh your leader. So what you do is you scrap a card to heal for one, and you hit, and then you play a leader card to heal, you, know, you hit, and then you ref refresh your leader. So you can scrap another card because you refresh your leader now, and then you hit, you heal for one, you hit again, you just... It's just a non-stop barrage of hitting the enemy leader. It's ridiculous if you can get this off. And it involves healing, it involves refreshing, it involves scrapping. It's a really cool combo, but I don't think I'll get it this stream. I don't think I'll get the required ingredients for that, but it's just a ridiculous thing. I've done it off stream before, and it's, it's just... <laughs> it's a crazy combo involving refreshing and healing. Uh, I think I have enough food. I think I will offer food to the masses. Do I want to offer gifts to the people? I think I will, even though that does put me at risk. And I think I will attack the palanquin. And do I want to use any of these here? Eh, maybe. My hope is getting a little low. And I do have one for a boss. Okay, I'll use one. My deck should be good enough as it is now. Plus one, plus one, or plus one, plus oh. Do I want to take out Head Dreamer? I think I'll keep him in just because he's so scary. <laughs> and let's see. I go first. Mm. Oh ho! Yeah, let's play him here. Come on out, Head Dreamer. Yeah, try to get all these things. Maybe bolster, smash. Smash, play Steward, maybe over here. Although that would leave things vulnerable to that. Although I might be able to do some combo shenanigans. Who would I bolster? Maybe Steward. Maybe that's who I would bolster. Alright. I feel that. I basically try to get this thing destroyed on purpose so that this stuff gets damaged, then you drop this down and heal them both. 
Oh, that's interesting. What's he doing? Doing one damage to all my stuff? Oh, that's so nice! <laughs> it's so nice! Okay, okay. What, what a kind gentleman this, you know, opponent is. You know, like... <laughs> damaging my stuff for me. So that I can get this guy massive. And then I think I'll play... This guy here. And then maybe hide this guy over here. And... I should probably destroy that armor since... He might have a very scary card where it's like, give up all your armor, do that, da that amount of damage to all enemies. He might have that card, so I'm just gonna avoid, you know, that possibility. Alright, he's just gonna go into there, which is fine. Since he has Stoic and he can't attack anyway. Now. Could just Static Charge. I don't really care about this thing. It's not really a problem. Maybe move this guy to there. Although that puts it at risk of being killed by that. So maybe not. Uh, let's see. If I static charge, there is a little bit of a risk. Just a little bit of a risk to worry about. And... Let's see now. Do I want to just destroy this rock here? Play patiently. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll take more control of the board. Just put this big taunt there. Ah, what a jerk. Okay. Thankfully, it wasn't the blessed one, but still. What a jerk. <laughs> I want to try to wound these if possible, but I don't think I can. Uh, let's see. Probably should push damage, push for lethal, but at the same time, I do want to play in the long term and stuff. I'll just hide that there. Maybe gain the armor. Head like that. Can I get lethal on next turn? Six damage from this. And then two damage with that. This. Yep, okay, yeah. I might be able to. But at the same time, I really want to wound these if I can. But I don't think I can. Although I can wound one of them. Alright. I think that'll be good enough. Just wound one. Uh, let's see now. Yeah, I can do that, that. Yes. Okay. Oh, maybe I should have refreshed this one. Nah, nah, actually, no, no. What am I saying? No. This one wants it. This guy wants to be wounded. Alright. Smoke bomb. Interesting. I think I'll hang on to it for now, even though... I'm not really playing a charge deck. Although, you c I do have a couple of cards, like the guys who heal, and the, and the guy who gives barrier and shielded, so maybe I would use it on them. It's an interesting idea. We get batteries, we got food, everything's looking good. So we got the batteries that I spent back. And the cruel leader is gone. We got a few followers. And we can move on. My near 50. 
Getting close to there. Hmm. Yeah, when I get to 50 followers, that'll be good. Because then I can do the first one of these without problem. So I should try to do that. More scrap. All right, let's open up. Yeah, my health is fine, so this is uh, this will be okay. All right, speak of vision and discuss the images. I think speak of vision gives believer points, which is what I want. Whereas discuss the image is more for scholar points, if I recall correctly. Yep, two believer points, there we are. I don't think I necessarily care about that food. Alright, who got wounded? Steward got wounded, but I think I'll keep him in, in case I ever get Steward and Refresh. Now, Acolyte is wounded as well, and that's fine. Although, if I play Steward, he won't be able to attack. Because of Ennui Engine. How strong is this enemy? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna take Stuart out then. I'm just gonna take him out. Do I have anything I wanna replace him with? Any legendaries or mythics or what's it called? Yeah, Warden's pretty good. I might do Warden. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, let's do Warden. Yeah, yeah, this looks good. Let's -a go. Maybe head dreamer turn one. Hmm, yeah, maybe I will get rid of this card with a focus point. Maybe this guy turn one. Although I should push for lethal. I should be aggressive. Like, if I draw a refresh turn two, that's just game. Alright. Okay, drop this down, smash that away. Anything else I can do? Mind seize, static charge, hit face. Mind seize, static charge, face. Hmm. And then on the next turn, this will do quite a bit of damage to him, though. Hmm. I don't think I like that. Maybe Crusader, hit that. Yeah. I'll just develop the board more. Ah, he's gonna trade. Where are we? Okay. Maybe Mind Seize plus. Stone Chakra. And chakra here. Yeah, that's fine. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Okay, maybe just shot on that. I do have lethal. Hmm. Yes. Right. I have lethal in many ways. <laughs> I should just take it. 
slow down. Yep, okay. Boom. Alright, didn't get any followers from that. Although then again, penalty for searching I don't think is that bad. I have to take out Head Dreamer for now, which is a shame. I probably should just bless and take out units. That would probably be the better idea. But I do really like my Head Dreamer. Alright. There is a healing spot nearby, so that's good. Alright. Who do I want to risk? Actually, no. Doesn't let you choose, what am I saying? <laughs> so this is why 50 followers will be good, because then you can remove the chance of failure from this, but I'm not gonna backtrack and I succeeded anyway, so uh, that was good. Now this one over here is where there's a real risk where if you fail this check, you lose a follower, but I think I'm willing to take that risk since the reward is quite good. Okay, who do I lose? No, not you. Although then again, it's not that integral of a card to my deck. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not too bummed out by that. All right, I guess I'll put in Shepherd, Shepherd, you are the new Shiram Acolyte. Anyway. <laughs> There's always risks and stuff. But the reward, if you succeed that check, is really good. Alright, take everything out. I think I will go for any wounded legendaries as well as steward. As well as... I don't know what the other one would be. Wow. <laughs> I guess maybe this one? Oh, and I should also sell this stuff. Ruster shells. What is this about? Constructs. Eh, Constructs can't attack, so I don't... I'm not really going to use that. Well, I think some of them can, actually, but they're rare. Doing okay for food. Hope is getting a bit low. I heal once. And heal like that. And not spend food on the other one. And I have so many levels to go up. This is crazy. Another Mind Seize might be good. Refresh is decent. Static charge. These are all good. Hmm. Ah, so hard to choose. When in doubt, pick the rare. Nothing to display there. Now the second level up. Okay. I think given that that's a better version of the pull effect, and I'm not struggling with taunts too much, I think I'll throw away this card. Maybe throw away the armor cards, although at the moment I have no gear that gives armor, so I think I'll throw them away later. And this next one costs 15, is that right? Am I getting the second uh, tool slot? I think so. <gasps> yeah, okay, this card, definitely this card. This is a very important card for this build that I'm doing. Doesn't matter what the third card is, even if it's legendary. This card. <laughs> a million times this card. In fact, it would be awesome if they could put this card in the opening, like, the starting deck of the tower. Even though it might be too OP, but this card is just so fun to play with. Like I mentioned this card before, sometimes I go through a run and never even get it in it, and that's always unfortunate. 
But this card can save your butt. It's really good, really strong. Unless you do crazy combos. Like, my Hermit run with the tower revolved around that card. It, like, that card was the key to its success. I've got plenty of hope, so I'm not too worried about this. A little bit worried about my food. And this guy is all about returning stuff. And I don't think I want the smoke screen. See, if I got the hand cannon, like if I succeeded that check where I lost my acolyte, then I would be in a really good spot. But but I but I didn't, so you know, risk reward. -y. And this is Let's see, this one is the one where you could recruit a follower for 30 food, but I don't think that would, it will be worth it here. Like, it's a legendary follower, but still. And since we're all about believer points, we'll do that. We could trade for food, but it's, uh, that's a little risky given the, uh, that I want to stay at, like, seven batteries or above. So I think set up camp is good if you want hope. I don't want to give up food and I don't want to give up batteries, so I'll just get some hope and move on. Even though getting hope is usually the worst choice. It's like given the situation I was in, it's like, yeah, I gotta do it. If I had a surplus of food, I would definitely just spend it. Let's do Head Dreamer, and where's the other guy? Hardliner. Oh, they are not the same card. This guy is a 4-drop, but that's okay. He, he does have a very nice effect. I'm gonna play my healing cards. So we're all about that healing. And what else? Probably do want a Wounded card of some sort. Preferably one with a lot of health or something. Acolytes, I'm gonna try to wound on purpose. Uh, what else here? What else do I have? Like Crusader. I think these will be like the high end. And then this initiate, and maybe I'll save this initiate for a boss fight. Yeah, I kind of wish I had more two drops. That's one problem with this convoy deck is that it's really lacking in two drops. Eh, this guy's not bad. I kind of like this guy. I'm using the improvised, what's it called? Yeah, I used... I used it, right? No, no, I didn't. Okay. Now I use it. Improvisation thing. Alright, so this guy benefits from me scrapping stuff, but that's okay. I go first. I think I'll go for Head Dreamer. Oh, right, this, this ability can work with Crusader as well, if I really want to. Probably want Refresh, just overwhelm him in terms of damage. All right, Head Dreamer, out you go. What a jerk. <laughs> Plays that card, because of course he does. Okay, what do I wanna do here? Probably just tempo. Hmm, he's probably gonna regret doing that. Let's see. This guy onto the board. And static charge. And drop this guy, heal them both. That might work.
let's see. Maybe on you and head face. Yeah, that makes sense. This is gonna hurt. Who's he gonna attack? Probably one of these two. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> and that'll do. Could have won this turn, but I think I really want to destroy this guy. It looks like it paid off, and I can bless this guy now. Okay. Do I want to risk? something better. Well, the issue is it has to be something I can refresh, but nothing, nothing really costs more than four, so, and I have improvise as well. Okay, yeah, that was definitely, definitely the right play. Maybe wound this guy too, but, eh. Okay, this might be useful. It's kind of a pseudo refresh in the right scenario. Although you have to kind of prepare for it. You have to plan ahead a bit if you're gonna do it that way. Like basically choose a row where the opposing row has nothing on it. Hmm. But there is some potential for burst there. So I like that. Now, who all got wounded? Everybody got wounded. Head Dreamer got wounded. Boo. <laughs> and Crusader got wounded, although Crusader has shielded, so I don't mind using Cru Crusader and Acolyte that way, so. And Hardliner, I'm gonna take out for now. And I'm gonna want some more two drops in top end, so I'll put this guy in. This guy, maybe a four drop, maybe this thing, even though he kind of stinks. And I think I like this guy better. Hmm. And normally I would try to wound this guy on purpose, just cause, um, what's it called? Very easy to give them stoic, but given that I'm using the Ennui engine, that's a little bit of a non-bow. So okay, okay. What to do now? I think my deck is good as is. Let's go. Okay, good. Empty stuff everywhere. That's what I want to see. Do I want Archivist? Uh, maybe not. Okay. 
Let's try Stewart. Given that this guy is going to be moving. intentionally hurt him. Although, yeah, no, I don't think that makes that much sense. time. Drop this guy down here. And this over like that. Yeah, okay. That's not bad. And here. this like that, give him some attack, and drop that, heal both, and yeah, the healing will make this guy survive that. Hmm, yeah, okay. Save this for next turn when you're gonna refresh, yeah, okay. I think we want to keep this guy's health up so that we can do this plus refresh on the next move. We do this. Although, I think I'll go for the armor just in case he has static charge or something. I might even do this here. Hmm. Alright, let's think. On the next move, what happens? We rejuvenate, we do this. So make him five attack. Hmm. I'll do that. Draw cards, but that's okay. Order! Actually, no, that is the correct order. What am I saying? <laughs> okay. On one. So you can do it on him. Bring him to the front. Bring him. How much attack is that? This gives one attack, this gives another attack. So one, two, four. We get four attack. Which is not enough to win. Hmm. Am I calculating that right? I think so. Hmm. What if I get a shot? The rejuvenate is better because of that. Ah, that's that is good. I'll go for that. Two mind seizes. 
Wonderful, wonderful. And do I want to drop this guy down? No, I think I have lethal next turn. Unless he does that. Actually, no, I think I still have lethal. <laughs> Since I can do this. In fact, I can do this, move him, do that. that and then do this. Ah, wait, ah, I messed up. Forgot that I can't do both in the same turn. Oh, anyway. Gotta quit messing around. Alright, that's all his energy. Can't do anything else. Horn powder. Ooh, yes, I like horn powder. That's a good one. I don't know if it's ideal for this build, but it's just a good one in general. Actually, yeah, for this build, it, it would be good because this build likes long fights, so. Ah, oh, give me believer points. I don't care about learning things or being kind. All right, do I want batteries? I could always decline and get more altruism or get a follower or something. But I think the num amount of batteries is very high, so I think I will take it. Yeah, 24 batteries. It's a very good amount. I can use that to level myself up. Which is something that I ultimately want to do. Join them. I think I can recruit them. What's my follower count? It is at... So I've lost a few and... Ooh! I wonder which one I got. <laughs> The most powerful legendary in the game, in my opinion, the tireless. Okay, I think I will. I think I'll use that one since it is thematic. It is all about that refreshing and all that stuff. It's a card that can just go completely bonkers. I think I'll use it on my deck. I think I'll main deck the tireless. You don't always get it during a run, like, in fact, I would say probability of getting it is probably something like 1 in 4 runs or 1 in 5, but the tireless is just crazy hard, crazy strong. You can do a ridiculous amount of damage in one single turn with the tireless. Anyway... I think blessing it with the faithful is actually better than usual since you want more health on the tireless so that he can get more attacks off. Anyway, do I have enough batteries? Another question is do I really want to level up now? Part of me says yeah, I probably should. Another part of me says this is just a regular enemy, let's just beat him as normal and see how much, uh, uh, what's it called? See how things are going when we get, get there. Hello, Tireless. All right. I don't think you should put that back in my hand, silly enemy. <laughs> Throw this down. I don't want to play the tireless now. That would be a bit silly. Maybe throw this guy down. Maybe throw him down again. I've shot and shot. Uh. I think I will 
Just to use this guy to defend. Ah, I don't think that's worth it. I end my turn. Righteous Strength, kill that, although maybe this first, and rejuvenate at the end. We throw this down, or heal. Can I win this turn with the Tireless? No, no. Alright, let's do Shot on this, just deal with that. And Righteous Strength on you. Smash into that, and then heal you. And heal you twice, actually. Yeah, that's smart. Okay, so first we shot. And we do this. Alright, and then Tireless might be able to win next turn. Even with that. Actually, no, Tireless can't really win next turn. What am I saying? Hmm. We'll play Chakra, followed by Crusader. Chakra, Crusader, and then maybe buff this. Beast, let's find out. Save this for the tireless, I think. This, that, and that. Hmm. I think I really want to use these. <laughs> Shot. Uh, let's see. Sadly, don't. I'm one energy off from having lethal. That's unfortunate. Let's play this, then do this. Actually, no, that wouldn't be enough because the tireless would die in the process. Okay. Let's see what he's got. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Do that just in case. Okay, good. Interesting choice. Okay. Do I have it? I think I do. Tireless. Buff like that. And buff like that. How much damage is that? This guy would be five. The tireless would be eight. That's that's lethal. Okay. And I have just enough energy for it. Okay, maybe I'll build my deck around the tireless. Or my leader deck, I mean. 
Although, I don't think that's as entertaining to watch. I think the Faith Healer build is more entertaining. Ah, oh, it's these, these guys again. I hate these guys. Gotta hire them, otherwise I lose a follower or something. Actually, it might be multiple followers you can lose. It's very painful. Alright, so the secret to countering this Grey Goo over here is to just destroy uh, this boss's obstacles. That way he can't he never gets to use it. And then this one here, the secret is either burst damage or to just deplete it five times. Generally with this boss, you just want to control the board. Although, with this build, I probably can't do enough burst damage now. So let's first start with legendaries and mythics. I think I'll play all of them except for the head dreamer who got wounded. That's okay. Now let's look at blessed cards. That's the general order I follow. Legendary Mythics, then blessed. Then you look a little bit at your wounded, but uh, with Ennui Engine, it's a little interesting. So I think I'll just go for these. Maybe this guy too, but I don't think he's necessary for this fight now, especially given how strong my deck is. And now for regular followers. So I like Warden, since it's not bad in this fight, like at all. It's like the boss has a crazy amount of health anyway, so. And maybe these guys, just to add a bit more value there. And maybe some Shepherds. And Tinkerer, I think we can use, but nah, I don't think he's that great. The aesthetic is okay though. And second initiate I think is fine. And this is probably good. 20 cards more or less. And then it's either edible oils or attack or alcohol. I'm gonna go with the oils. I think I will use the smoke bomb since I just haven't been getting any value from the rifle. And I don't think I need to level. I think I'll hang on to my batteries. And this should be good. Okay, I go first. Turn two, play that and that. This guy's not bad. I don't think I need any armor at the moment. So, turn one, con man. Mm -hmm. Just keep cheap cards for the tireless. All right. Maybe play this, or maybe just do double shot. And hit that. Very interesting ideas. I think this is potentially better. Gets a drone token. I don't know why he plays that card. It's a little silly. Okay. trade into it. Ah, 
Okay. Good, good, good. Getting low. That's fine. Getting a lot of hope from this. Set up the combo for the tireless. Cast this on that, but I think I'll save that. Interesting. Yeah, the AI is not playing very well. And uh, this is very silly. What's it called? The deck of the AI is super aggressive, and yet it's, uh, uh, what's it called? Let's see. It's flying very defensively. Okay. I should use guard. Can I kill him with the tireless this turn? Doesn't look like it. Although this guy with the tireless is a nasty combo. <laughs> Just need to endure for the time being. Use that on the tireless as well. Definitely need that gone if I'm going to use tireless for this. Not a problem. <laughs> Not a problem. Okay, let's really think about this. Charge right into there. Basically want the overwhelming hit to go like that. I think it's time for Tireless to come out. Go 
Good. Decrease it a little. That. Should have attacked first. What am I doing? That matters not. Oh, how much damage? And let's see. High end. He has to have a board wipe and he has to top deck it. <laughs> ah, furry. Okay, that's not too bad. Alright, time for some shenanigans. Tireless is that it eventually runs out of health. I, think I could literally play this and win with him. Yeah, I could. Actually, no, I can't. <laughs> Silly me, I can't. Nah, da, da, da. Oh well. See chance go off. There you go like that. That that was that was a close one. A lot close too close for comfort or however you say it. Like uh, <laughs> the AI played very foolishly. Like on the one hand, its leader deck was playing stuff like Scorch, doing three damage to me, but. It should have been pushing damage to my face, but instead it was just attacking my board, which is incorrect if you're gonna go aggressive like that. If you're gonna play burn damage, she she just hit face. But I guess the AI really really wanted to control the board or something. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I, if it was me, I, I would have played I would have played the AI's side very differently. It's uh, kind of like that thing in uh, Magic the Gathering deck building, that old saying that a deck is much more than just a pile of cards. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna heal all three of these. I think I've got like 35 health, okay. I can heal myself two times and then heal 12 followers. Yeah, who are my wounded? Let's see them. So these are drones. I got these drones from the boss fight, but since the faithful are not allowed to use drones, they just die immediately, but at least they give me a battery. Or two batteries, okay. Hey, that's nice. I thought it was just one. Six batteries for free. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, now here. I think Battlefield Healer, I probably... Although I don't really use it for attacking, so maybe I do prefer it being wounded. I don't know, that's, that's an interesting idea. Crusader, I kind of prefer being wounded. Uh, Acolyte, I want wounded. Initiate, I don't care that much about. I need a fourth unit to heal. So I'll just check the recruit followers area really quick. If there's anything wounded here, I want to heal, but... Aside from a raider, which I don't think I should waste batteries on, I... Yeah, okay, I think I'll just heal the initiate then. Okay. 
Okay. Which one is this? Is this narrow con? This is narrow con. So I want to get uh, 50 followers if I can, even though it's not that critical. Uh, let's see. Nehru Khan. Since the Nehru Khan side quest isn't that amazing, but it is nice to have. It does give you some free food, which would be good. Now, let's see. So in Container City, I could pray to the gods, which would give believer points, but I think I'm okay for that. I could also recruit followers by preaching of the machine god, using my believer points for that, and I might I might try that. In the hard market, I could hire help, paying 40 batteries to gain what is probably enough followers. Yeah, I probably want to do that anyway. How many batteries do I have? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm doing that. Do I want Salvo? This is just a common card, and it's not that amazing, so probably not. Okay, I'm, I think I'm doing hard market then. I think I will spend 40 batteries to get 40, sorry, to get some followers. If I had scholar points, I think I could get a discount, unless I'm confusing this for a different area. Higher help. Okay, I'm confusing this for a different area. But this is enough followers for that. Do I get anything? Good, I now have 50 followers. No, oh, this guy might be useful, I don't know. Hmm. Spark Shaman, that's an old favorite of mine. I really like him. He's like a built-in static shock, or static charge, whatever you call that part. Like he's like, uh, and he's a common too. He's kind of like Crash Jacker, but so much better since he has, he does something when he comes on the board. And Thunderblade is fun. That's a fun card. Although not with the Anwi engine. Like, Thunder Blade and give it first strike is just a ridiculous combo because then it can kill everything on the field. You know, and then just attack the opponent for some damage and stuff. Uh, what else is there? I think there's look for work. Accept 50 followers. So I think I'll do that now. Accept. We got free food. And let's see, hear them out. I think I want to be altruistic, even though this might not give altruism. I don't remember, but it does give batteries, so that's good. I think it loses altruism. Control center, since we did the 50 follower thing over here, we can now do the merchant area. And now we'll just look for work. We will accept. That unlocks a little side quest. But aside from that, not much. For the container city, I think I might just go for the believer points, since I think it also gives free help as well. Yeah, I think that's the better choice here, since... Uh, let's see. It might give me a legendary follower, but... I think I've got a good amount of those. I've got five legendaries, and one of them is one of the best in the game, so... I think I will just take the Believer Points then, try to get a Believer Points ending or something. So, I'll just pray to the gods. Gaining five Believer Points and five Hope. And that is a very nice amount of Believer Points to get from one event. Recruit Followers, probably just get Veteran Gladiator. Since it's a Raj Guard, for one thing. And I quite like Spark Shaman too. Ooh, Crusader! Yeah, I like Crusader as well. Maybe to be thematic, I'll use Crusader. Although I think I should level up. Yeah, that's what I should do. Yeah, let's, let's do this, okay. What else? Nope, nope, don't care about armor. And this is a good one. This is a good one. But this one's better. <laughs> and I still have no sources of armor. Maybe I can change that. What do we have here? We have Simple Sleeve. 
which is part of that combo. Do you have anything to sell? I think I'll sell this. I think I might just get Simple Sleeve for that combo. Yeah, three uses of Dynamo is probably good enough. Anything else here? Smart targeting. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this. That is the exact number of batteries I should have there. Although both of these are good. I think I'll do Simple Slate for now, but put the Horn Powder back on later. And, uh, let's see. Food, I'm running a bit low. But I think I should still heal. Anything I want to sell here? Nope. Nope. And these are more nice-to-haves. Like, I'm pretty good in terms of my supply. And... A third one? Ah, no. Nah. Let's do another follower rest instead. Even though, do I have money wounds? I think heal or I'll heal. This guy I should heal for sure. Just heal these two. Actually, no. No. This is what I'll do. Heal you. Keep you. Healed. And heal like that. And that should do. That should be good for now. All right, all right. Um, uh, let's see now. Where do I want to go? Does it show me the map? See what's on here? I think it was Unexplored Path. I think that was it. I could try for this and go there. That probably leads to there, so I think I will do that. Try to get to this guy in two jumps. Yep, there we are. Now what's interesting here is that helping the caravan defend themselves is... Actually, no, it should be obvious that this is the better thing to do. There, there's another one where a bunch of uh, bandits uh, want to storm this place, and, and they're claiming the people in there are cannibals when it's actually just a bunch of merchants, so... But anyway, I'm just gonna help them defend themselves. And I will remember to put cards in my deck. Are there any legendaries? Definitely Tireless. Uh, probably Head Dreamer. Con Man, maybe? Actually, hang on a minute. Ah, uh, this guy's blessed. Okay, I'm not going to use him. Keep him up for now. Alright, where are my stewards? There they are. And maybe this guy. And... Two drops, and ooh, maybe this guy actually. Yeah, this guy's a fun card. Fun little distraction. Maybe get him wounded or something like that. Okay, there we go. And that should do. Oh, my hand is getting a little bit numb. 
first, I kind of like this hand. in its death. Okay, I think instead I will play this. Yeah, this guy's a hard counter on that. Can I win this turn? Nope. Interesting idea. We'll play this guy over here. Yeah. And and let's see. I'll go like that, and I turn. Ah! Okay. This guy attacks that, this guy attacks that. Oh, okay. There we are. No losses and a lot of batteries. No, don't heal my stuff. No. <laughs> I forgot about that. I do not accept it. Anyway. I don't want to pay, I want to fight. Everybody gets to fight. Okay. Uh, I should be okay here. I've got some good stuff. Although this board is blech. Big rock over there. Like this, or like that. This, this, yeah. Maybe I don't want that right away. Yeah, some removal is good. That's good. Certainly I can't play this or not.
that. And this. Yeah, probably that. These obstacles are disgusting. <laughs> Uh, if only I had my stoics. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Here it comes. Okay. friendly. Okay. Let's 
begin. Trying to scrap this thing. What a disaster! <laughs> Disaster. Am I dead? No, no, I'm not. Although I have to be very careful because if I play this and this, then I am dead. Oh, let's see. I can play this. Stem shot. Okay. That should work. Whew! What a disaster! <laughs> what the fuck was that? Uh, let's see. This guy's going to die soon. But... It's okay, he's not that critical to the deck. Let's start a riot! Yeah, I'm so angry based off of how that last fight went. There was just so much BS there. Like, everybody got wounded. Both my stewards got wounded! <laughs> I am definitely starting a riot. This is an elite, right? Okay, this is an elite. I'll use natural dies. How much is the cost? 15, okay. Okay. That just kind of goes to show how lost this deck is without Ennui Engine. <laughs> it's just a very unhappy deck. I'm gonna play 5th century, just need to defend my life points a bit more. If I use these. I have to go without my stewards, I think. I think I've gotta do a build based off of the tireless. And a hardliner, let's go warden. Uh, shepherds. And three energy spark shaman. Yeah, three energy spark shaman. Alright, I go first. Probably gonna play this guy. not going anywhere so what's this guy do damage to all obstacles throw this guy down and turn okay it's kind of his whole turn
Ow. What is that doing? Let's see. Do this. Look at that. Hmm. Interesting choice. play maybe this let's go with you shot maybe just this and that This is altruism. You could always, you could always do it like that. This and then that and that. Yeah, there's so much altruism here. I probably shouldn't kill this though. Yeah. Okay. Well, they could spawn here. Two minus one. Let's see now. I'm 
only need one hit in the face in order to do it. Fresh. Helps with that. Hmm. Ah, very tricky. Do I need that much altruism though? I don't think I do. Plus two less. Eh, I don't think I need that. Although this might be a good card. Hmm. That might be a good one to have. I might dismantle for that. That's a lot of food and a lot of batteries. Very good, okay. Should definitely level up since my health is getting dangerously low. Okay, an armor card. This is an interesting one, but it loses all your armor. Another mind seize. Another resilience chance. I don't think I need more than two. I think I'll go for another mind seize. Just play more defensively. And did I get rid of my armor cards? Nope, doesn't look like I did. Oh man, that one where he just just kept spamming high statted ones. That was ridiculous. So given how low my health is right now, I think I do I think I will hang on to the armor cards. Shepard got wounded. That's okay. It's a two drop, although I should probably replace him with a three drop or something. Where is this guy? Yeah, this guy should go in. Yeah, let's just feed it, get a beast. I think I'll avoid this fight for now. Just try to, yeah, try to get there. Fight them in, gain more altruism. Ooh, more stuff. All right. Have some scrap. I might dismantle that. Sure. Don't think I need that. Maybe food would be good. An avatar of rust. It's an interesting one. I think I will go for it. This one's kind of interesting too. I like this guy as well. I think I'll pass since my batteries are not that high. I think I'll save for level ups or something. This is good for hope. Let's just spare some for a bit of hope. It's an okay trade. Got more food. Very good. Okay. A bit worried about my food, but that worked out. Could attack alcohol here. What is he about? So and so. Has to be destroyed during his turn. Ooh, that last one's nasty though. Duck size is a bit big. But I think I'll be okay. Got a little bit of armor. Go first. I think I want a bit of control here. 
Let's try for this. scary enough for that to be justified. Back to the hands. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice card. It's behind a rock. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, okay. You. And then what? Seven on board. Seven. This and then that. I can give the kill to that. Seven. Let me drop this. All right, calculate a little. So five plus that nine. Hit, and then this. So nine, and then 13, and that. I think I'm calculating that right. Too much about that. Plus, that follower's dying soon anyway. <laughs> Seems that my ability to calculate has suffered a bit. But my ability to win, on the other hand, seems to be perfectly intact. So, definitely pay. I definitely need to get my deck back online after that one disaster of a fight. One, two, three. Uh, anything else I need? Hmm. I think those are just the core cards. Like this guy maybe, but 
It's not that critical. These guys we don't care about. This guy's fine as is. This guy's fine. This guy's fine. Uh, let's see. We don't care too much about this one. Oh, uh, maybe this one. Yeah. All right, my deck is now mostly fixed. You buy food. The discount here is not that great. What is this? Machinists. Okay. Generally, you want to explore as much of the map as you can, but there doesn't seem to be much left. Also, I do have a good amount of supplies of various things. So maybe I just head for here? Hmm. Seems a bit dangerous. What level am I at? Level 6. That's not a bad level. The reward here is not that great. Ah, well, let's just head for it. Bear for altruism. Follow free food. Very good. Okay. You will take no one. Altruism and a fight. That's okay. Alright, alright. I think I like this guy. I like these guys. I have my wounded here. Maybe Defender goes in. He's got Barrier, so he's pretty good for that. And Acolyte. Crusader. Okay, Tireless for sure. Tireless has just been winning games. Uh, what else? What else? This guy. We need some more three drops. Some cheap stuff. I don't really like risking that one. Hmm. Fifth century. That'll probably do. All right, it's just a regular encounter. Should be okay. Actually, now let's keep them. Get that stuff at the ready. this, yeah. This trade. Very interesting. Could do that. I'll just develop the board.
Can you win this turn? I don't think so, no. Hmm. Think, think. Or this. No. Resources doing that. All right, tireless. Just need to hit twice. That's that. This. Two shots of tireless. We've got enough batteries. Another fight, good. And it's drones, so that's free hope, okay. So initiate got wounded, sadly, but that's how things go sometimes. I think I'll use Shepard. Okay. Let's -a go. I go first. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Schwarz Tank. It's random, so it could be anything. I should throw this guy down. Bolster. Hits for seven, maybe? Hmm. Really interesting decision to make. Hmm. Hmm. Playing a leader card refreshes, so I can still do it if I want to. Okay. This is good. And all the engine is all used up. Yes, if I need that for the tireless, I still have it. Oh, we didn't account for that possibility. Oh, that's a weird move. Let's work on... Ah, I miscalculated. Oh well. Alright, there are a number of votes here. There it is. survived. Fooey, I thought it would kill all of them.
Oof. Hmm, interesting place. <laughs> So many ways to win here. The tireless just is that good. All right, no need to get fancy. Whew. Smoke bomb. Now we can either go exploring over here, which I think is risky, especially given that I've not been playing very well. I think I'll just face the boss. We need to work together. Hooray! Okay. Sadly, I didn't get to explore the other path, but anyway. I think I really need to get to the milestone and heal. Uh, what, what am I doing? Legendaries and Mythics, that's what I'm doing. I think everybody except for the Head Dreamer. I've only got one blessed unit. Very sad. Oh, even my steward is wounded. Alright, what do I want to use? And maybe this guy. He, he's decent. And the more the merrier. Now for normal cards. Well, let's, let's use that. Okay. <laughs> Let's think. Let's think. Might be playing too much five drops. Fifth century's good. I like archivist. Okay. Yeah, maybe this guy just for fun. This is a boss. Let's use the attack alcohol. This guy's the armor guy, right? Yep, okay. So basically you control the board, kill his stuff, and then, uh, what's it called? Try to waste all his armor. Like, try to leave something with like one attack on the board so that it just absorbs the armor and he's just got a one three or something. Anyway. I'm gonna go first. Alright, let's go with fifth century. Take a little bit of damage, but I should be okay. Now, let's try to think this through. Try to think through every move. Where 
I could just get this guy out. It's probably the best move. Take the armor. Ow. Okay, okay. I'll take two more. Okay, hopefully he can't kill that, but he probably can. Actually, no, let's kill this guy. Maybe pop him back. Throw this guy down. So many choices. Install his armor on this one follower. Okay, maybe this guy can join the party. <laughs> Is a disgusting combo. I love it. <laughs> no, 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 I sh should do this way. This is pretty ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> I'm amused that even that wasn't enough to kill everybody. <laughs> 
Okay. I just smash him into oblivion. Didn't kill him, but damn, was that close. <laughs> All right, let's just, let's just get out of here. Okay, okay. Not too bad, only two health lost, four wounded. You definitely heal a lot more than that. So, sadly I can't backtrack, but anyway. Uh, let's see. Let's see now. Hmm. Yeah, I think I better heal stuff while it's still on my mind, but after that, maybe I'm done or maybe I'll continue. I think I have enough yeah, I think I have enough energy to continue, so... Okay, smoke bomb... Wait, do I have two smoke bombs? I do! <laughs> That's interesting. Maybe I'll use them both, just because I'm having so much fun with them. <laughs> Alright, this is the ziggurat. Uh, what's it called? I think there's one where I can sacrifice a legendary to get a bunch of loot. Might want to do that. Uh, let's see. I think it depends a bit on what the legendary it is, of course. But uh, What are my wounded? What are my wounded? I think the tireless got wounded. But if the tire bus is wounded, it might be better that way. Since you can always heal that health back quite easily. And really want to get the tire bus out for cheap, if you can. This guy got wounded though, that's unfortunate. And my own health is fairly low. Let's see... Ah, uh, it's, it's this one where you can get a discount if you have scholar points. So the gate, look for work. I think I'll go for the slave hunt. Yeah, and try to get, try to get more followers that way. Okay. The cells. All right, let's do the palace first. Well, then let's see what followers there are here. Oh, many of these. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I probably do do the palace. What do we have here? Beam rifle. It's not that great in against the final boss, but it is decent elsewhere. Though it is a lot of batteries. So. Flash sleeve. That's a that's a good one. Refreshing shunt. That's that's a good one as well. That's a nice little combo piece Where you can do two damage to something and refresh it but I think I'll go to the palace first See which follower he asks for oh No, 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 you are not touching my tiredness Uh, let's arm the slaves, just get a bunch of altruism, and then get out of here. 
since keeping the weapons for yourself, the weapons they gave for you are pretty pretty bad. They're just really basic ones that are really cheap. So it's better to just get the altruism points. Anyway. Ah, shame that I couldn't get rid of a weaker thing, but I'm not giving up the tireless. The tireless is basically the win condition in this build. Anyway, what do I want to do now? Now that I've done that, I could try for the cells. I don't think I care about scholar points. Yeah, I have nowhere near enough to do that, but let's just get the guards. We get the pit champion, who's decent. Get some more followers. The recruiter's a nice one. And these, this guy's okay. Definitely good to have more followers for the final boss, because then you have more stuff to choose from. Anyway. I think the comm system... Eh. I think I prefer the batteries, even though the card's not bad. Got a good amount of hope. Next is the city. I think I'll go for Slave Hunt over there. Yeah, Slave Hunt sounds good. So that'll be in Explore the City, is it? No, it's Visit the Gate. Okay. Look for work. And then Slave Hunt. That can increase altruism. Or you can use altruism to recruit more followers. Which is also good. So I should decide which wounded followers I want to heal. Anything that's legendary should be healed, except maybe the tireless, just because, actually no, I think I will heal the tireless, I don't want to take any unnecessary risks there. Anything else here, I don't care about those, I have three, I have three. Hmm. Some of these other ones. Probably remove the Ennui engine late in the run. Anyway, the steward is good to heal. Initiate, let's heal the initiate. This one I prefer wounded. Uh, let's see. Acolyte I prefer wounded. I kind of prefer all of these wounded. I'm not really doing an armor build, so I'm not gonna do signal bearer. I prefer these guys wounded. So I'll just do it like this, and then do like that. Anyway, recruit follower time. Ooh, apostate, he's a fun one. Let's try to get all of the legendaries. Just do a legendary deck or something. And I think I'll hold off on spending these. And eh, maybe I'll do Scorch Iron and thing. Like maybe I'll try to get a second good weapon there. I don't know. Something to think about. All right. Alright, do 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 do. Mountains or swamp? Hmm. I think I'll go for the monks since they might have certain things that give more believer points and they might have things that are nice payoffs for having a lot of believer points. But this might have the deceiver who is. Also a very good card, but I think I'll go with the monks to be thematic. I mean, I've already got one super powerful card. I don't think I need all of them. All right, quite a bit of healing. Oh, can I go back? No, I can't. Yeah, sadly there's no optional bosses or any of that stuff, but maybe there's something here. 
Yeah, I really want to fight optional bosses. Though those are a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. What's the path I want to take? What's my level again? Only level six. I do have a fair amount of EXP, but I think that only brings me to seven. Probably doesn't bring me to eight. Don't really need all this healing right now. There might be something hidden over here, something interesting. There's also very likely something over here. So I'm gonna go for there, maybe find an optional boss. An ass full of dynamite, that's my fetish. So I'm definitely not paying. Oh, I, I didn't even notice that the Marauder was there. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> okay. Steward. Head Dreamer, I think I should use. Yeah, eventually my deck is just gonna be nothing but legendaries. Yeah, there's Marauder. It was quite a nice card. Oh, he's not that good. What am I saying? I'll play this guy too. Yeah, maybe I'll just do a control build starting now. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's just start playing a control style. Uh, let's see. Need more three drops. Need more three drops. Like you. I like you. Acolyte. Maybe one more card for luck. I'll take out Fist Century, put in Shepherd. One more card. Should be a three drop of some sort. Ah, Battlefield Healer, that's the one. All right, it's time to duel. Weird move. Wonder what his plan is there. Uh, let's see, let's see. improved my board. Uh-oh, it's going here or here. He didn't play it. That's weird. I was expecting him to play it. Hmm. This thing is worn off. That's good. All this stuff is stealth. How does that work? Hmm. I gotta play this guy onto the board. This guy's trouble. But he can't quite break through yet. Ugh. Put the rock here, you idiot! <laughs> okay. Absolutely stop this nasty thing. 
since he might discard the tireless. Yeah, some of the AI's plays are very nonsensical. Putting the rock there would have disabled the taunt and have put me in a very bad position. Spot for him. Alright, so. Okay. later cards, so this should be okay. Whoa, did the game just freeze? I think it just did. Oops. Hmm. Okay. Oh, no, looks like it's back. Okay. Interesting, he had no better move than to do that. Hmm. Okay. Do I have him? Let's find out. That's seven damage right there. Drop the tireless onto the board, play resilience chant. And Tireless Swink gets in for four. That's 11. Restore allows them both, and that's, that's game. Okay. Never noticed that this thing actually synergizes really well with the Tireless. Chant over here. I want to bless the tireless. Just so that it has more chances to do damage. Although, given that I'm so reliant on the tireless, I probably shouldn't be playing such a big deck now. But, anyway. Who am I wounded? Oh, I had Dreamer got wounded. That's unfortunate. Shepherd, I don't care too much about. I might keep Head Dreamer in those, just because his stats are really good, so I'll do that. Join them, accept, recruit. Hello, other avatar of Rust. Okay, I'm just finding legendaries everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Look at the amount of legendaries, it's ridiculous. Ah, I'll play con man, sure, let's do that. What am I doing for batteries? Eh, I probably shouldn't do it now. Enemy goes first, okay. Better keep that in mind. Mine sees is good here. This is probably helpful for that. I think this is okay. Okay. Throw 
this down. And I really don't want this right now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, get ready to mine seas. deal with this thing just board white multiple times and I shouldn't play this because mine sees will hurt it so I don't think I want to scrap let's see play this and shot maybe Sadly, this guy didn't spawn in one of these. Although it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Active card text. Hmm. All right, all right. This guy here, he's a nice human shield. There's a blackout. Okay. I forgot what active card text means, and it doesn't describe it. Hmm. Okay. I just drop this guy down. See what he's doing. It's so cheap playing all of those, but uh, it's just fun. Alright. Play this guy. Got some ideas. Yeah, I've got a few ideas here. Hmm. Ooh. Oh my, is there a way to make that work? Oh, I should really think about that. Definitely stop here and think. Yeah, this guy should attack that guy. Buff twice. Drop both of these guys down here. Play a resilience chant. Stem shot. Yeah, okay. I think I have just enough for that. Pain is wisdom, eh? Hmm, let's see.
just do it like that. And then move this guy out of the way. <laughs> do I have him? Okay, okay. I do have them. Just have to spam mind seeds multiple times. <laughs> These four cards. Yes, okay, good. Now, do I remember the cards I took out? Alright. I think things are looking good. Now, do I want to face this elite? I think I should, I need batteries. Even though I don't have any of those, so. Let's do it. And this guy finally died, that's fine. Let's see. Grab the hope. What's this one? Five or more strength. Interesting. Let's go. I go first. I think I've got plenty of health. I'll play this guy. Like both of these guys out onto the board. All right. And no, ah, this is fine. Uh, get ready to static charge. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. yes. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Play something first though. Like this guy. Hmm. 
Maybe the other guy. Maybe this guy. Static charge. Hmm. No, this guy's static charge and shot. Yeah, okay. Turn! <laughs> Save the legendaries! Should have thought a little bit more of flying stuff, but I think this is still right. Yeah, <laughs> the perfect counter to robust. No board wipe, eh? <laughs> Trade this into that. Okay. Don't really need mine seas. Let's see, let's see. Uh, let's scrap it and see what else I get. Oops. Forgot about this guy's effect. I always do. <laughs> ah, I can't put it on his side. Boo. Ah, let's see. Do I have lethal? I think I do. Ten. Uh. Sixteen, sorry, ten, twelve, that's twelve, needs this, and this, and yeah, okay, could even do it with this guy, but let's calculate, ten, twelve, and then this, and then that, for that amount. Don't forget to do this. There we are. Oh, we got a musical instrument. We only suffered one wound, too, and it might have been a follower who was wounded to begin with. Oh, this card. This card's nasty. I like it. In fact, I like that card so much, I think I'll swap, swap those guys. And do I have a two drop? A eh, scout can go in. And this will probably do, this will probably do. Probably should play more robust cards. 
Then again, I might be okay. Let's explore, try to find stuff over here. Uh, I think I can recruit them if I do this. I can also attack the thieves. Uh, let's see if they have any good s stuff. And let's just take them. Hooray, free units! Didn't really feel like fighting, so... What wounded are there? Any wounded legendaries? No, there are not. Okay. I think I just heal face, although my food is super low. Heal face anyway. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> I should just head back there, get some food. Except I can't head back there. Oh, free food! <laughs> free food from the heavens! There's probably a market over there, so I can probably do that. And I think I will level up. Actually, no, I probably need to spend it on food. Inspire troops for two. Destroyed. Nothing in here got wounded, that's the important thing. I go first. Go ahead, dreamer. It's time to dream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, the combos. That was fun. <laughs> Drop this guy down. Smash like that, then that. Do I have enough for that? Hmm. I think I have enough for this and something to be lethal on the next turn. So yeah, I think I will do that. Oh, oh, oh. Back to my hand. You know, it's been so long since I accepted a surrender and I'm not really gonna bless anything. But, at the same time, continuing the fight does give... might give food, so I think I will continue. I think accepting the surrender is better if you want to recruit stuff. But it gives less rewards. Okay. wonder if... It's only friendly followers. Okay. So I think here, I just drop this guy down and use Refresh to win the game that way. Yeah, okay. Alright. There we go! Hooray! We got some food! Alright, that means it's a lot more likely that I can make it here, where there is an active market. And I never made it to here, but that's okay. Kind of explored all this part and found nothing. Which is a bit of a shame, but anyway. Hmm, I think this can give batteries, and I think the only penalty is I might lose like two health. So I think I'll take the risk. Okay, it was four health. But anyway. I think they might give delicious tea if I win. I didn't take any wounds that previous fight. 
I do have this, but I don't think I should use it now. Alright, I'll go first. Okay, perfect card. Ouch. Although I can just put it back in my hand, so there. Actually, no, I could just do this. <laughs> yeah, maybe do this. Attack that one. Maybe throw this guy down. Maybe play this and this guy. Yeah, okay, that looks good. This one here, or maybe here was better, but anyway. And I don't think I want to use this now. I think I'll save it. Good. Maybe move this guy to here. Play recruiter and something. I think it's better to hit like that and shoot like that. Super risky to leave this guy on the board. Hmm. I don't mind him drawing a card either, that's not too bad. is wisdom. You gotta be kidding me. Pain isn't wisdom, it's tireless. Uh, 
Let's tank, let's tank. Ho oh, ho, yes! That's what I wanted to see. Okay, can I win now? Probably. Is all this? This is seven, and this is ten. Okay, so that'll bring him down to eleven. Casting rejuvenate will, uh, let's call, it, bring it down to five. Steward and refresh, bring it down even more. Ah, but what if I move this guy here, instead of attacking with them? Oh, and these guys can't both attack. What am I saying? Let's see. Hit for four. The problem with moving Stewart to there is that then if I play this guy... I'm kidding. Okay, I've got to really, really pay attention now. So, seven damage like this. Yes. Although, maybe I could have this guy be the one to get the kill. Okay. So, nine damage like that. Move this guy over. This guy moves here. Cast Rejuvenate. Yeah, have 15. Uh, I don't see any way to do it the way I want to. Although... No, that doesn't work either. Hmm. I can't scrap a card. Yeah, I don't see any way out. Although I can move this guy out of the way. Yes. Okay. Move this guy out of the way. Do four damage with this. Move this guy to here. 10, down to 11, so this guy sits here, cast uh, Rejuvenate, down to 5, hmm, very interesting, very interesting. What if I move things around a little? Ah, I think I'm overcomplicating this. I think I'm spending too much time thinking about this. Move this guy here, this guy there. Do six, and rejuvenate. Do 12, then refresh on this. Okay, so three hits from this guy, plus one hit from that guy is lethal. that's the best move I could have made. It just goes to kind of show how important it is to play slowly because then you really make the best play. Make the best out of the situation. It's like a chess puzzle. Alright, more of this stuff. I think I got a ton of batteries. I think I should level up once. Since I think for food I'm okay, but... I don't know. I think letting it build up to the end is probably fine. Gain shielded, but not barrier. 
barrier is scarier in my opinion. Traitor is fine. I didn't take a single wound in that fight, did I? That's crazy. Okay. I go first. that. Yes, charge into the rock, I guess. I probably shot on that. Or maybe not. I don't know. Let's think. Maybe mine sees now. Okay. It's gonna kill everything in one hit. Mm. Uh. Uh. That combo is disgusting. <laughs> Although this will kill it, so that's good. Not good, not good at all. <laughs> Lucky mind sees. Question is, do I want to play something first? The answer appears to be no. Maybe drop this down here. Actually, here might be better. Because I'm probably playing Avatar of Rust next turn. of stuff. Ah. Nothing better. Let's do it. Okay. That's a lot of energy. Uh, 
Uh, let's think. Oh, it's blacked out, I forgot. Where are we? Oh well. How? Ah, oh, great. Now I can't get rid of this thing. Health is dangerously low, but I think this will work. Sadly, I can't attack this thing. order in which it will go. This will at least get rid of that. So, do I get to keep my stuff? Actually, yes, because he had first strike. I forgot about that. Alright. Avatar of Rust, here we go. Time for some fun. Probably don't want to play that card now, silly AI. That's some very silly AI right there. Probably should have played some other stuff first, but... Can I win this turn? Maybe if I had played slower, I could. Hmm. Let's see. I'll just bless the Avatar of Rust. Ruster shells, what is this? Owie, owie, owie. 54! <laughs> oh my. Well, that's, that's certainly something. What level was the breaker? Level 9, okay. Let's get a mythic card. It's legendary, not mythic. That's mythic. I like this one. Oh, which one do I want? I'll go for this one. The save my butt card. Now, I have quite a bit of altruism. And I think this is the Crypt Gate. Hmm. Uh, let's level up a bit. Let's 
It's either a mind break or shrapnel rain. Hmm. I think I'll go with shrapnel rain. Both good though. I'll up another time. Yeah, we're just gonna go hardcore control. What's this thing about? Eh, better than nothing, so. Hmm, I can't level up again anyway, so. Maybe I'll just buy a little bit of food. have anything to sell. Second so smoke bomb. I think I'll hang on to that for the final boss. Mm, two food, one hope. That's not a problem. Healer's kit. Okay. Let's spend a little bit of food, and a little bit of hope. Anything for sale here? Not really. I think I should just rush for the rush for the exit. This is not leaked. Question is, I think I should use this now since my hope is getting very low. Also, the effect isn't that great, so I'll go for that. How many wounded do I have? Acolyte, I'm fine with being wounded. Mm. Recruiter can come out. Steward, I think, will come out. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I see. I was like, where did all my cards go? Okay. Hardliner, get in here. Maybe Union Sapper as well, since I keep getting hit in the face. All right, all right. Find the duel. Huh, this guy has an interesting combo with mine sees. order that it goes in. I think it is the one I'm thinking of. Don't think I need the equipment. Just one. Hmm. This guy is very strong in the late game. Hmm. Think, think, think. I could trade this guy away, but I kind of don't want to. Also, just sit and wait. Let this guy kill that. Cast Shrapnel Rain on the next turn. Like this guy now. And scrap a card. I'll scrap you. 
And yeah, that's a better card for next turn. And... This doesn't target, so that should be good. Definitely want to cast this if I can. Don't have enough for both. Do this on that and kill that way. But I think it's better to do this than shrapnel rain. Oh, and then restore and trade like that. Yeah, okay. That's good. Yeah, I'm just double checking I'm not missing anything. Oh, Foey, I forgot about that. was a better move anyway, so I shouldn't be too bummed out. This guy will be coming out soon, so that'll be fun. Hmm, let's see. Let head like this, head like that. How much energy do I have? Hmm, let's see. Okay, this guy... Shot to the face. This guy can hit that. Decisions, decisions. So many decisions. Hmm. I want to focus on the board as opposed to face. Hmm, let's see. Play this guy and then use him on that. Might be okay. Basically prepare some stuff there. Hmm. Ah, quite a few decisions to make. This guy. Whew. Yeah, okay. are running low on battery. One sec. There we are. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna want to get this guy down if I can. Let's see.
Here we are. Doing pretty well so far. How nice! <laughs> what a nice guy. Okay. Okie dokies. Let's play this guy. What am I doing? Attack first, then heal. This thing is very slow, so... Go for it. Oh, that's not good. Wrong way, leader cards. Ooh, can I? Yes, I can bless this guy, I think. No, I have this going on. Hmm, okay. Need to find another way first. Well, maybe I have another way. Maybe I'll try to bless this guy instead. Life points directly. We have guaranteed lethal if, if it's needed. No, we're gonna continue this fight. We want all the rewards. All the rewards. Okay. Is it gone? Yes, it is. Okay. Alright, tricky time. This should work. Hooray! Okay. I healed my legendary. And this is a nice one. I like this one. I think I'll go with this instead of uh, that. Although there is a problem is that I will take damage from it. But I still quite like it. And I like the food. I like... Getting that, so that's good. Problem is, I might not have enough batteries for the final couple of levels. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. But then again, I do have a mythic card. So I should be okay. Hmm. Do I want to try the Adam's Edge? It's a bit risky given, you know, how low my health is, but it might be the correct choice to make here. Just because it's a very strong tempo play. Ah, uh, Union Sapper. Perfect card for when I want to use a Adam's Edge. Okay. Ah, Bowie, he has shielded. That is not what I want to see. I do not want to see shielded. <laughs> okay. Probably have to play this guy onto the board. Just 
need to survive for now. Anything I want to scrap? Yes, I want to scrap this. Bolster. Don't think I want to bolster anything. likely gonna trade them. Oh, that was interesting. Oof. You're gonna have to do it. Oh, I should have played this first. What am I doing? I think this blackout is actually very beneficial for me. Anyway. Where is he going with that? Face or this one? This one. Okay. That's fine, actually. Okay. I am getting a bit lucky this stream. Ugh. That was nasty. <laughs> then again, they almost always are nasty. No, not there. Exact lethal, let's double check. So buff this guy with bolster. Hit for seven. Refresh. Fourteen. Cast shot on the face. And then yeah, okay. That's lethal. Any more shops. Alright, let's do this. We definitely want to skip all those fights since they will just drain my health down to nothing. Definitely want to get to this. Who did I lose? Oh, I lost Warden. I like that card. But I lost some crap too that I don't care about, so, so that's good. Ah, oh, poor Union Sapper got hurt. That's okay. Do I have another Union Sapper? Ah, da 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 da. <laughs> Con Man got hurt, but his stats are great, so I might just keep him as is. 
anything here. Nope. There we go first. Might use this guy turn two. I think I want the armor because I'm gonna Adam's Edge. Okay. play that was down and then try to get Juggernaut going. Ugh. Ugh, that turn one Z-Lot, that was nasty. Save me. Hmm, okay. Might be able to do something with that. Okay. good so far. this guy here. Ugh, maybe I should have dropped this guy down. What a weird move. Amusing. I think I will do that. Uh, let's see. And I don't think I should use this. I think I should leave this guy here. Play this guy and do this. Ah. Well, I can't do that anymore. That's a shame. And save this for the next turn. Okay. 
Okay. We're gonna do this. Well, actually, I should have played this first. Silly me. Probably doesn't matter, but anyway. first. Let's see now. We have 11 plus that. It's 14. Okay, the, the enemy is just dead, so. Just do all the last few hits with this guy. And add insult to injury. We got another refresh, so we could just kill that too. Anyway, sadly I won't be able to convert this into batteries. But at least the hope is good. Doing kind of a believer playthrough. And let's see. I think I might use one to heal followers. Alright, what are my wounded? I think I've got another wounded steward. Have any wounded legendaries? Don't think I do, besides the ones over there. So I think I'll take the other wounded steward. Because this will give some healing as well, if I recall correctly. So do this, do that, do that. Go to the gate, open the gate, heal for four, move on. Ah, another healing spot. Sadly, I cannot level up. And there is no way for me to get batteries, I think. If, I, if I'm remembering things right, I can't get any more batteries. But thankfully, traveling no longer consumes food when you're in the crypt. I noticed that... Uh, let's just not take any risks. Let's just move on. The food is not going down. Because of the crypt, it's kind of a spiritual place, so I really want to level up, but I can't. At least I have Juggernaut, which I think is a tower card, so I feel a bit less bad about not being able to level up, but still. Let's see, I think this one too. This one. And anything else? Hmm, thought I had more. Maybe some expensive stuff. I don't know. Hmm, let's see. No, 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 too expensive. More like three drops and stuff. Yes! <laughs> that one, that one. <laughs> That's one way to get three batteries. <laughs> Just play that guy and kill him <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> Never even thought of that. Alright, now over here, we have this stuff. Probably do want the armor cards now. I think my leader deck's good for the time being. 
I don't think I'll spend focus points. Gonna go first. This card might be the key to my victory. Huh, you try to give up one, you get the other. That's pretty funny. Scary card. Can't play this guy yet. Oof. I don't think I have a way to deal with that big thing. No way to damage it to cast Shrapnel Rain. first. Do it with this though. This will probably save me. Let's develop the board. Okay, good. Very good. fully charged now. Alright. Have to kill this thing. Though, I don't necessarily have to do it that way. becomes a nine in nine. Ugh. I do have this stuff. Alright. Alright, I'll toss that for now. Do that. I should wait for him to attack me. Bring this guy up. Protect my life points. Okay. Simply get ready to mine seize the whole board. <laughs> oh, 
Ah, oh, terrible luck there. Terrible luck with where these spawned. <laughs> Alright, so you have to attack that. You have no choice. Although, move you, Juggernaut, smash like that. Or, move you, Juggernaut, smash like that. Huh, okay, and Juggernaut, and we can do shot on this. Okay. I do like the hope. Destroy that thing. And use this to deal with everything else. first. Maybe mine sees. Yeah, yeah, let's mine sees first. Those both for this guy. Uh oh. Not not this thing once. Come on. Come on. So cheap. Good. Ah, very good, okay. Now let's, let's protect the health. The hope is good. All right.
should have played that first. Yeah, actually no, I wanted to attack. Is it Construct 2? Unit, okay. This guy's just gonna... <laughs> So silly, I could just win this turn. Why don't I? Guess I really want to rub it in or something. I don't know. I was wrong! I was wrong! I can get batteries! Hooray! <laughs> I can level up! That's a good one, especially for the final boss. Okay, what else we got? Okay, box in. Just, yeah. Kills robust units very easily. Like, you basically push them back once, they're at one health, you cast Boxed In, they're all gone. Also deals with swarms quite nicely, too. I think I just heal face a bazillion times. Is that right? Eh, at least twice. Probably a third time. I don't care about scouts and initiate that much. Got so many cards, why don't I use some of them? I'm so silly. I should really be looking for the cards with the strong effects and stuff. Taunts, I can use taunts. Like those two, I don't mind being wounded so much, so that's probably fine. Alright, um, where am I wounded? Yeah, this guy's good. Alright, face it is. Let's not take any risks, just heal the face. Ah, oh, man, another fight! Boo! Alright, given that I'm getting a lot more aggressive now. Uh, no longer gonna use this. I'm not going to use that either. I think I'll hang on to these for the tireless. More likely to draw these now. And this card's not bad. It's a little slow. But I think I'll keep it since it does help protect my face. And shots. Uh, you know what, I think I will keep shot. Nine wounded in this deck, hmm. Although a lot of them are ones I want to be wounded, so. Anything in here? Nope, just had no sense. Let's go for it. I go first. Here it goes. Hooray! That was lucky. Okay. This thing 
Go off two more times. I'll oh, take the hit. Oof, fingers are going numb. Let's see, probably want to get this guy down. Maybe hide him behind, or maybe put him there. Let me hit like this. When I scrap a card, eh? Just scrap something, but these are all good. Hmm. Bounce them back, scrap that. Ah. Oh no, he no longer has Stoic. Although I could save him. I could put him back in my hand. Aha. Wait, does he still have it? It's funny, he can't attack. Wait, yes he can. for the next turn, this little combo. We've survived the worst of it. this guy down. This guy down. Hope he doesn't die. This guy's a little annoying over here. I might be okay.
Well, let's bite the bullet. Which one will you take? That one, that's probably okay, actually, since that was more of an endgame card anyway. Interesting placement. Oh, damn. Okay. I think I've got to say goodbye to this guy. He's gone for good. Alright, here we go. Got insight, right? Yep. We're gonna double mind seize, then devoted guard. his life points directly. Okay. Uh, don't hit them all! Oh, no! Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried all the damage would go there. <laughs> and be like, no! i destroy my taunts. Okay, I don't think I should get greedy here. I think I should just win. Although, I think I'll scrap one card. Just to see what I get. Refresh! Okay! Okay. That's what I thought might happen. Ah, victory! More batteries! Yay! Lost one follower for good, took five wounds, although I think two of them were... Start 10 health, that's not great, but... Search the area, got Halos. Hello. Double horn powder, okay. Well then, I'm probably gonna be using that in the final fight. Uh, yeah, you go distract them. Okay, he succeeded. Now, how badly wounded are my followers? Everybody's kind of wounded, but I'm not going to use that thing, the uh, Ennui engine, against the final boss. I'm going to use the horn powder I just got. <laughs> Alright, let's just... I don't know. What do I want to do? I don't know. Looks like I can get an altruism ending. Sadly, I didn't get enough believer points for believer stuff, but anyway. Let's do one I haven't really done before. Who are you? Uh, what happened to you? What emergency? Fights. Okay. We've got double Halo Sense. I think against this guy. I'll use Corn Powder. What's this thing? Oh, I don't really care about that. More horn powder. Just survive till turn four and just spam <laughs> those things everywhere. And I, this might bring me to the last level. I'm not sure, but it might. Okay. Okay, first we look at legendaries and mythics. Not a single mythic this run, which is interesting. And I think I 
will use you, although... Let's not use any of the wounded legendaries. I have no blessed units, except for these guys. So sad. Okay. Well, the Pilgrim served its purpose. I probably wouldn't use him against the last fight anyway. Let's see. Might use these guys. Four for a five five. This guy. This guy has blackouts. Okay, I think I'll look at regular ones now. So I'm not going to be doing the Ennui engine thing. I got like these guys. I got like four drops. Although I shouldn't be too worried. Given that this stage of the boss isn't that hard. And I can definitely play a lot more four drops and stuff since I'm going to be using Hallucense. Let's go. So this guy also has his own Hallucense, plays a bunch of Constructs, and gives them Shielded. But I'm running a lot of, uh, what's that card called? Mind Seize, which is just the perfect counter to that. And do I have anything better than Smoke Bomb? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to gain armor. Healing Touch might be good. But against the second phase, that's where the real challenge is. I got all these beasts that are going to come out, so... Yeah, I'll keep this one maybe, or maybe not. I don't know. I should have looked at this, but... Looks okay. I think I'll hang on to this guy for now. A construct. That's an annoying one, but anyway. Let's just use these guys who I never use. And I can't target this, sadly. But that's okay. I may have another approach. Oop. I think I'll, what I'll do is I'll just let him build up a big board. I just play this now. <laughs> Go face and just play that. Kill everything in one swoop. I kill my own guys too, which I'm not crazy about. I've got this too, and I don't really care too much about these. So, uh, we'll do that. <laughs> All that hope. And your move. <laughs> oh yeah, good time to play it now, since I don't want to lose my beasts. <laughs> yeah, beasts versus drones, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah, da, 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 da. This followed by Mind Seas? Hmm. Maybe 
just get something out of my hand. The army of beasts! <laughs> Pretties, fly! You can always use this on that, come to think of it. Hmm. No, it has to be enemies. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I should think about the positioning of things. Hmm. Beasts everywhere. That is a terrible place to put that. <laughs> Should put it here. That way, this guy can move. tokens. Fly, my pretties. No, he blocks my taunts. <laughs> How? Yes, let's let him play his entire thing. <laughs> cars. Oh, it didn't even hit this guy. That's great. Okay. That's eh, okay. Didn't need him anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Mm, I think I'll save that. There we go. Just give this guy up. Pretty well, actually. Yeah, this is pretty good so far. Yep, looks like I have one. Awesome. Machinist robes. Okay. Yeah, I think I prefer that over the simple sleeve. But why should we trust you? this thing, what is that thing, a bunch of la la la, what is this thing, and I could surrender if I want, but I think I'll fight. So first things first, change this to the Machinist robes, pain is wisdom times eight is kind of ridiculous, but anyway. Don't forget to have a sense. Okay, legendaries and mythics, just every single one of them goes in. <laughs> Wounded, blessed, or whatever, it doesn't matter. This is the final fight. And I think wounded other stuff. So these guys all die. I should look for strong cards, like cards with good effects. So maybe this guy, maybe this guy. Stuff with first strike is generally really good if I can get it. This guy, this guy. This guy's probably not gonna be so good here just cause he doesn't really play those kind of followers. This guy, this guy's good. Sniper is helpful. Um, what else, what else? Don't think I want this guy's healing. All right, let's search for first strike. Only one, okay. Let's search for robust now. Literally only one, okay, that's that's kind of sad. Although it's probably some like legendaries or something. Okay, let's play both stewards. And play some more expensive kind of things, but these all look okay. Um, let's see, maybe this guy, maybe another sniper, and that'll probably do. Although actually, this guy, I like this guy. Alright, it's time to duel. 
second. Is there anything I want to take out? Maybe the shots. Maybe those. Although they're not terrible. I'll keep them in. Okay, probably turn one you. Maybe turn one of you. I don't know. Ah, oh, decisions, decisions. Turn one of you. Let's go. Okay. Do I have any alternative play? Hmm. Let's see. Mine sees this. Oh, actually, come to think of it. Hit. Gain a health. Back to hand. Mine sees, and then that. And then drop Steward onto the board. Actually, why don't I Steward now? Hmm. hmm. Yeah, Steward will survive. Oh snap, I forgot about that. Hmm. Ah, I'm so silly. It's been too long. I forgot about that effect. Well, anyway. Uh, kind of like this, yeah, okay. Play all your cards, come on. Play, play all of your cards. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Come on, play more, play more. Aw. All right, now for the beasts to come out. This is good. That does nothing. <laughs> Did absolutely nothing. Ah, oh, no, I should have done this one. Although, that's not too difficult to do. Uh, I should have scrapped a card, maybe, to get this guy's effect going off. Okay. This guy's got first strike, right? Yeah, okay. So he can eat into that, I think. Hmm. 
Trying to think about this. How do I want to do this? Probably trade these two into there. And trade this guy like that. Maybe send this guy back to my hand. So that this guy can get in as well. Maybe this into there. This into there. This into there. These two into there. Ah. No, I think I should double mine C's actually. Hmm. this guy. Good. Like any of these will work. It's fine. Now, any of these are useless? Let's think. Mm. I want to spawn something for sure. There we are, good. Okay. Better that than anything else. That was a total waste of a blackout. Okay, hit my obstacles. No! Stop it! Stop it! Okay. This guy, and then refresh him. I think I should destroy this one. this thing somehow. Hmm. Let's see that. Okay. Don't have anything immediate. Hmm. Don't want to get hit in the face. His side. Could do that. I to think of it. It's not a bad idea. Hmm. He's shielded. That's right. I forgot that that is helpful. Maybe I should have played this down somewhere. I don't know. Hmm. Like 
here. Uh, This is a good card now. First strike on this does 12. Yeah, okay. my unit, but that's probably desired, so let's hurt my guy on purpose. Okay, good. Okay, good, good. It destroyed... Well, I would have preferred one of these, but that's not the end of the world. Let's see now. Okay. I'm gonna get ready for a big turn or something. Don't think he runs any units with charge. Though he does run one card that could really hurt me. Hmm. Maybe what I'll do then. Hit the face. And use this. Wisdom, good. Good, good, good. Alright.
this guy here in front. And I'm trying to basically to protect this guy. That's not smart. Looks like I win. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Ah, this guy really wants to attack. Here we go. And for the coup de class. Boom. We see the power of resilience chant. And the ability of refreshing and healing and all that stuff. So. That was a fun run. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're feeling altruistic today. Mm -hmm. How do we use these? Unite with the machine. We enter the crypt. And I think we are feeling nice, so let's restore civilization. No, I can't do any of the endings, boo. Probably because I rushed through the last couple of maps, but still. So we do trade. No, not greenhouses. That's going to be filled with greenhouse gases. How dare you? <laughs> you know, like air. Air is a greenhouse gas. You can find it inside a greenhouse. So this is that. And then this is the stats. Not bad. Wait, I'm not even looking at them. Why am I saying not bad? Days traveled, pretty good. Pretty low. Not faster than light, but still pretty low. Especially for doomed. And yeah. I think I'll just sit through the credits, as I usually do. Let's see. I think I will upload this to my YouTube channel, just as a little bonus video and all that. Since it was interesting. Median on All right. And thank you for making a great game. So, I think that will conclude this stream. Well, what's it called? I am going to start streaming a new game very soon. Maybe this coming week. I don't know. Depends on if work gets too hectic or whatever. But, I expect to stream a new game very soon. So, I think I'll go back to the old schedule I had of Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Starting at 8 p.m. to 12 p.m. EDT. Although, I might not always do Fridays since, you know, now that uh, the economy is opening back up, I might uh, do something else on Fridays. You know, I might go to a bar and have some fun. I don't know. Anyway, as usual, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. And if you did not enjoy what you saw, feel free to follow me on Twitch or check out my YouTube channel. And, uh, uh let's see... Yeah, I think that's everything I want to say. Until next time, bye for now.